Please don't kill me, Nintendo. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> okay. That's a perfect start. Hello. Oh God, he's speaking. That's mean. That that that's rude. <laughs> what an interesting app I'll just spam emotes. Yeah, guys, don't spam emotes. My bot's gonna have to beat your ass. Don't be spamming emotes in here. If you don't, if you spam emotes, them bugs gonna have to get you if Nightbot doesn't get you. You don't know that. Nintendo's crazy. They'll send those Nintendo ninjas at me. They're dangerous like that. They really be like that sometimes in Nintendo. Hey, first Twitch stream. Welcome, my guy. We are... Seems like most of these DDLC Twitch streams have always been about Sayori so far. You really say I'm gonna have to do a tool. <laughs> like that too. Bug's a big Sayori fan, so um You talk about Sayori. If you make those Sayori jokes, bug gon bug gonna get you. Can only watch something about their things. That's ah, true. Oh, thanks for the follow. I love anime one two eight four. So now you may have noticed the sound on that notification wasn't there. The reason why is because for this, I'm actually turned off the sound for the notifications. And also, when I'm in the game, the chat isn't going to be on screen. Because it's, like, distracting, especially considering this game is pretty big. Well, not big. <laughs> well, yeah, this, game, this mod is big. This mod's big, and it's new and stuff. So I don't want people who watch it on YouTube to be, like, to, or to be ru the experience to be ruined because there's a chat on screen. So, like... When I'm in the game, the only thing that's really going to be on screen is the donation with the bar, which is at the top right, which I guess will just be Bean Daddy. <laughs> Bean Daddy will just be up there, and there'll be a follow, and the follow thing will be on the top left of the screen, but it won't make a noise. So, yeah. What? Why, why can't I see the screen? <laughs> Wait, what? What did you do? Oh, I probably have to open up the game. There you go. Good job. Is Monica there? She is now! <laughs> Hello! I wasn't for a second ago, but I'm here now. For a second ago? <laughs> I wasn't a second ago. Right. Salvation is seven hours from Ultra and Blaze's playthrough, six hours from mine. That's weird, Bug, because when I looked at the thing, it said it was three to four hours. <laughs> the fucking modding, the mod, like, wallpaper of it says that this mod is three to four hours, so I find it strange that it's like, you guys took longer than that. Maybe they didn't measure the time right? I don't know. <laughs> Bug, oh thank god, I was gonna click away if Monica wasn't there. Wow, okay. <laughs> Thanks guys, you guys are big, you guys are big, big friends. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, as you guys can see now, the chat is not on screen, so uh, for the reasons I've mentioned earlier. But donations will still be there, and the follow will be like, small and on the top left. So yeah. Let's go. This is where we were at, right? Why do all these days start with the fucking alarm? I don't know, but I yeah. Your, I guess your day never truly starts without an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> I practically rise out of my bed like a zombie. Why did I send alarms for so early on a weekend? Oh, that's right. Sayori and I have plans for today. Shoot Sayori a good morning message. Good morning, Zero. You think you can come over today? I need to talk to you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Crap. Sends her message with a heart emoji. I don't know if she meant it as a sign of do not, uh, not to worry about her or something else. Before I go with myself about the connotation of a little hearty moti, I quickly get dressed and head over to Sayori's house. <laughs> J just thought it was three to four. He was mistaken. Oof. So he thought it was three to four. That's an oof. So this might be six hours. Damn. Hey, Zero, I just finished watching your last Salvation vid, but Monica giggled, but it sounded like it came from me, and it was pretty spoofy. <laughs> I see. 
It's a beautiful day outside. I wonder what Sayori will be up for today. I knock on Sayori's door and enter inside, as I usually do. I'm greeted with an amazing smell and Natsuki in her casual clothing. Doing up some breakfast. What the? Zero? Do you always just barge in like that? Sorry, Natsuki. Guess we'll just have to get used to it. Jeez. Well, whatever. Sayori hasn't come down yet. Would you go call her? Sure. Walk upstairs and knock on Sayori's door. Sayori, it's me. Oh, come in. Good morning again, Zero. I'm so happy to see you. I'll walk over and give her a hug and a kiss on the cheek. I'm always happy to see you, Sayori. Now, now, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Well, it's about Monica. I just feel like it's my fault. I should have come up with the idea to visit her. I was thinking about how stressed she was before the accident. How badly she wanted to make the club an amazing place. And I just wish we could have appreciated her more by visiting her. I'm a horrible friend. I grab Sayori by her shoulders and pull her closer to me. Sayori, you're not a horrible friend. You're a great friend. You helped Monica more ways than I can count. You stood as a club president for her. You helped her by making the Literature Club a great place. Sayori gives me a tight hug. Do you really think so? I know so. I move down to Sayori's neck and give her a kiss, making her giggle. <laughs> that tickles. Suddenly, Sayori's door opens. Whoa, gross, guys. Seriously? Why now? Why now, noise? I thought I turned you off. <laughs> oh, someone just subscribed. That's why. Damn it. I only turned it off for follows. Ah, well, thanks for subscribing. <laughs> Even though, like I said before, subscribing doesn't do anything for you right now. So, well, so yeah, you can't really do anything with it right now, but thanks for the subscription anyway. I'll read it off soon, <laughs> everyone who's followed and subscribed. But yeah, not right now. <laughs> Cut it out. Your breakfast is going to get cold. So and I laugh in unison and follow Natsuki downstairs. Natsuki had made some fluffy brown pancakes and even went as far as to make some homemade syrup. So I immediately takes a pancake and shoves it in her mouth. Natsuki, this is so good. Gross, Sayori. But thanks, I try. Awesome baking skills as usual, Natsuki. You never disappoint. Shut up, dummy. It's not like I made them just for you. We all laugh together and continue eating. So, Sayori, what do you want to do today? Hmm. Oh, I've been wanting to go to the beach. We should go together, Zero. That sounds perfect. It's a beautiful day outside, and a nice walk on the beach sounds amazing right now. I can't wait to show you my new swimsuit. Oh, Natsuki, do you want to come along? Well, I made plans with Yuri today. We're going to the bookstore together. Oh, hey, that sounds nice. Did she finally agree that manga is, in fact, literature? <laughs> she better have. Well, let's go get ready, Sayori. Have a good day, Natsuki. Hey, Zero. Don't do anything to Sayori, you hear me? We'll be seeing a lot of this. Natsuki makes a fist and aims it at me. I don't really understand what she meant, but Sayori starts giggling and blushing. Probably girl stuff I'll never understand. Oh, those girls. <laughs> I wait for Sayori to grab her things before heading out. Luckily, the beach is a short walk away, and with this beautiful weather, I don't mind the walk at all. Ooh, I see. We're in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> we got lost, clearly. <laughs> As we walk to the beach through my shortcut, I remember the day of the accident. Despite it being morning, I feel the same eerie feeling I did on that night. I start to stumble on my own feet, feeling a bit unnerved at, at recalling the fear I felt that day. Hey, Zero. You okay? No, no, it's fine. Just a bit worried is all. Worried? What are you worried about? Don't tell me you're still afraid of the water after all these years. I chuckled to think back to when Sayori and I were kids. It was some pool party of sorts. I nearly drowned because I decided to go to the deep end without knowing how to swim. Damn, that's the same right there. <laughs> Same thing happened to me, man. It's okay. We've all been there. Don't make fun of me.
Well, I just realized something. Can you guys hear the game? I don't know if the game's making noise or not. Cause like it's showing like it's not making noise. Oh wait, now it is. Oh wait, I fucked it up. Oh, you guys can hear the game. Okay. I don't know why it looked like it wasn't. I hear the game fine. Okay. I was just, it didn't look like it was. All right, that, that's good. <laughs> now I just see all the yeses. Yes, 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 it's fine. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I literally drowned because it's hell yeah, I do go in deep end. Yeah, it's relatable as fuck. <laughs> so I had to save my life. It's not that, it's just I remember walking up this path and not you and the girls got in that accident. Even talking about it makes my heart beat almost a mile a minute. I feel her tug on my wrist. You don't have to worry about losing me, Zero. I'm right here. And as long as you're with me, I promise to do whatever I can to keep going. Feeling your hand in mine gives me a sense of comfort I'll never get tired of. If this place makes you feel scared, how about we hold hands until we get to the beach? I love that idea. So holding hands, I turn towards the beach and begin walking. I arrive at the beach. All my negative thoughts are but whispers in the back of my mind now. I take a look around. There's not a soul on the beach. Perfect. And the white sand extends all the way to the horizon, taken away and given back by the water as the waves repeat their eternal cycle. Whoa! The ocean's so beautiful! Don't you think, Zero? It sure is, but it'll never be as beautiful as you. <laughs> that was so cheesy, Zero. I didn't like you. I saw the opportunity and I took it. Sarah gives me that embarrassed look I know all too well. Now let's put our things down somewhere and have a good time, yeah? Yeah! We put our things down nearby a random bush. It's nice to know this stream was... We decided to stream the fucking beach episode. <laughs> <laughs> and get behind it and change into my swim trunks. As I remove my shirt, I catch Sayori sneaking a glance at me. Ahem. <clears throat> well, nothing! I didn't see anything! Sayori covers her eyes in embarrassment. <laughs> hey, Sayori, it's okay. Sarah removes her hands from her face and takes a decently long look at me. Zero, have you been working out? A little, this is nothing, Sayori. I mean, there's plenty of super buffed out guys, plenty of super buffed out guys out there. Oof, MC Zero is as smooth as real Zero. Hey, that's mean! <laughs> My own moderator's bullying me. Why do you do this to me, Bug? <laughs> well, it's special because it's you. Ah, well, that's nice. So I continue to stare. Hey, Sayori, you're starting to drool again. Eh, I am? <laughs> gotcha. Meanie. So he walks up to me and slaps my arm. Anyway, it's my turn. So I goes behind the bush and starts removing our clothing. Aren't you wearing your swimsuit under your... No peeking! Okay, okay. I turn around and I look towards the ocean. I guess Zero is pretty much, is pretty smooth then, because he does have Monica. I mean, you never said I have to be smooth to get Monica. <laughs> I think I just got her because how stupid I am. I mean... Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> That's an oof. You said it. That's an oof. <laughs> I mean, you have told me multiple times. My stupidity helps. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> A few short seconds pass. Okay, you can look now. I turn around and see what I can only describe as... As a goddess, some completely go go goddess, goodness, goddess. Describe as a goddess. goddess. I didn't see the a. So I was just as goddess, as a go as a goddess, <laughs> completely memorized, mesmerized by her figure. Oh, he looks cute. <laughs> oh, she got some decent thigh meat. <laughs> not as big, not as good as Monica's, but you know, it's decent. <laughs> I think that was both a compliment and backhand insult to Monty. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel my face turn pink. You like it, Zero? I thought the suns were cute. Yeah, they're cute. Sorry, he does a few twirls in the sand, giving me a view I never would have imagined a guy like me would get. Glad you like it. You ready to go in the water? 
Yeah, let's go. We walk together into the water. We step into the path of an incoming wave, looking at it as it comes closer to my feet. Out of the corner of my eye, I see Sayori running further into the water. He <laughs> What? She falls forward, face first into the water. <laughs> Sayori, are you okay? She pops her head above the surface. I arrive at her, at her side and crouch down to make sure she's alright. Sayori? Her head is covered in water and sand. Yeah, I'm sorry for being clumsy all the time, Zero. Are you hurt? I'm fine. The sand was soft, like a pillow in the ocean. I sigh in relief. Helps her way up and clean off the sand in her hair. This is what happens when you go without me, dummy. Hey, meanie. But despite me, she breaks free from my grasp and runs off into deeper into the water. Before I chase after her, I behold the sight in front of me. Aw. That's, that's, a, that's a cute picture. And MC Zero is already perving out. Who is this, Chad MC? <laughs> hey, man. This MC <laughs> is a perv. But it ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> I watch Sayori dance around with the waves, splashing around and having a good time. But to think, none of this would be happening if I hadn't gone in to save her that night. In all my life, I never thought I'd lay my lay my eyes on something so perfect. Watching Sayori dance around in the water, watching her smile, listening to her laugh. And this is what true happiness is. Swim into deeper water and float around, watching Sayori throw water and sand around. It's almost like watching a child play. I think back to our childhood. We came to the beach dozens of times together, except this time, Sayori isn't a little girl anymore. She's a grown woman, and I'm proud to call her my own. Zero, look! I'm a dolphin! Sayori places <laughs> beach water through her mouth and spits out a stream. She definitely acts like a child, that's for sure. Although, I don't think that's much of a bad thing. Lost in my thoughts, I feel the water gets slightly shallow, meaning... Zero! There's a big wave coming! Before I get a chance to react, I feel the wave hit me in the back of my head, splashing water into my face and nose. Oh god, that sucks. Oh. <laughs> water in your nose, ah! <clears throat> yeah. Ah! I see a blurry Sayori swim towards me. Zero, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Got some water in my nose is all. Well, that's what you get for calling me a dummy. <laughs> Having to clear my nose, I feel it swell up. So there seems closer to me, a sinister grin on her face. She takes her hand out from the water and taps me on the nose. Oop. Ow. What was that for? He. <laughs> now you've done it. I move my hand across the surface of the water, throwing water all over her. Zero, you big meanie. She returns to fire. <laughs> I place my hands in front of me to shield myself, and I set another torrent of water after her. <laughs> Eek! I'll get you, Zero! Zero dives underwater. <laughs> I assume she's going to come from behind me and... Wait. She's tickling me? But Sayori, quit it! I attempt to move my foot away from her grip, only for it to get sorry for it to get tighter. Thankfully, after a few more seconds of absolute torture, she lets go of me and returns to the surface for air. You're going to have to stop being such a meanie, Zero. Or what? <laughs> You'll tickle me to death? Is that a challenge? Bring it on, Bun. Okay, we don't call people Bun. That's weird. <laughs> Did Sayori fucking death poop this nigga? <laughs> ow. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he did say ow. What the hell? <laughs> Look how hard did she hit his nose? She smacked him across the face and poop. <laughs> yeah, like. It's not like, how the hell? Man, I wish I was Mr. Beast so I can give this man 40,000 bucks. <laughs> well, thanks for the. <laughs> well, it's nice to know you want to give me 40,000 bucks. Pull my foot away, bringing her into my reach. If memory serves me right, her ticklish spot should be right under her arms. Bingo. Why am I, like, analyzing Sayori like I'm a robot? <laughs> I know the perfect place. <laughs> right, Monica, can you do this laugh? <laughs> <laughs> that, you, that, that was too quiet! <laughs> what? It was? Yes! No, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> it was? You're no, I'm picky. not doing it again. <laughs> then, he... You're too picky. I'm <laughs> too picky. Try to let go of my leg as I continue tickling her. Zero, stop it! Seemingly out of nowhere, a wave comes and knocks us both over. I still hear her laughs underwater. I continue tickling her despite being covered in water. 
My surprise, I see her leg lift up made straight from my stomach. Ow! <laughs> God! <laughs> that was a death kick! <laughs> Sarah used fucking blaze kick on my ass. <laughs> Sarah violently kicks me away, forcing the air out of my chest. Sarah and I both <laughs> come above the water. She has a desperate expression on her face. I instantly forget about my own pain as I worry about Sayori. Did I take it too far? Zero, you scared me! What was I thinking? She could have drowned! Yeah, what were you thinking? I, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to take it too far. A sense of pure shame and guilt fills my mind, and Zero's molesting the butt. I wasn't molesting her! <laughs> Bug, it was a tickle fight. There was fair game. She started it. <laughs> <laughs> also, for people saying they want to subscribe, there's no point in subscribing right now because you won't get anything out of it and I won't get anything out of it. Your money will just go to Twitch. If you honestly want to give me... Because you have to pay $5 to subscribe. So if you honestly just want to give me $5, just click the donate button at the bottom. <laughs> if you honestly want to... Because, I mean, right now, subscribing won't do anything. Or you could just wait, really. A sense of pure shame and guilt fills my mind. Seeing Sarah hurt always pains me. It feels way worse knowing I caused it. I'm sorry for kicking you so hard. That was stupid of me. Don't apologize. It was my fault. I should have stopped after that first wave. Does it hurt? You didn't hit me too hard. I'm fine. I lie straight through my teeth. <laughs> and I can tell by the face you're making, Zero. It's really not that bad, I promise. Sorry, I accept the lie and her upset and her upset expression fades. I'm sorry for freaking out. I wasn't able to breathe. I'm sorry, too. I realized tickling you underwater would be a bad idea. How would you not realize that? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so dumb? <laughs> like, the first time was the, I don't even know what Natsuki's poem means. And now it's, hmm, I didn't think tickling someone underwater would be a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> this man's dumb. <laughs> I think they made his denseness a little too much in this mod. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little too idiotic. <laughs> this man is trying to kill the bun. Exactly! <laughs> okay, Zero. I guess we're even then. He. <laughs> Sorry, it comes closer to me. Hey, your tummy looks pretty beat up. How can you tell? My stomach's underwater. Do you want me to touch it to make sure? N no! <laughs> I knew you were lying. Well, I just don't want you to feel bad. But seeing you hurt makes me sad too, Zero. You remember what I told you d d I do when I feel sad? Uh, make people happy? <laughs> Sorry, I don't see what that has to do with any... Sorry, it grabs me and pulls me in for a kiss. The pain in my stomach melts away. I return the favor to wrap my arms around her as well. Making, it, making out in the middle of the ocean. You guys dream come true. Sorry and I pull back from each other to get some air. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. I needed it too. I place my hand on my stomach in pain. Crap, I think I need to ice this. You wanna head back to my house? Aw, I wanna stay a bit longer. Before I half-heartedly agree with Sayori, the wind suddenly picks up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, shoot. There's a nasty looking storm coming. What just happened? It was like a few minutes. You must be in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> that shit happens here. <laughs> That's believable. <laughs> Like two minutes. What the? Zero MC is dense as fuck. I mean, his name is Zero. Hey! I'm not that dense. I know that's a bad thing. <laughs> Alright. You people know the rain clouds are back. <laughs> You're right. The rain, <laughs> the rain clouds are back. <laughs> Zero, I'll tell us when we can sub, okay? I'll tell you guys. Don't worry. No, shoot, there's a nasty looking storm coming. As I turn around to face Sayori, I find that she's already racing back to shore. Beat you to the shore! No, oh, come on, no fair! As I start swimming, I, the waves start to become more violent. It doesn't help that my stomach's burning pretty intensely. The fear of the oncoming storm overcomes the pain, however, and I start swimming as fast as I can towards shore, easily passing Sayori. The rain starts pouring on us now, but Sayori and I succeeded in making it to the, so into the shore. Sorry, oblivious to the stormy conditions around us, pouts over the fact that I just beat her, despite having a head start. No fair, Zero. I was supposed to win. Yeah, whenever you say, Sayori, you really need to get out of this rain. Oh, right. Let's go. 
The rest of our belongings, which, luckily enough, aren't too wet yet, and make sure we make our way back home. So I and I arrived in my house, just before the storm got worse. Walk over to my laundry room, pull out some fresh towels, and wrap them around myself and Sayori. Whew. Well, what a day that was, huh? Walk over to my freezer and pull out an ice pack. You sure you're going to be okay, Zero? Oh yeah, I'll be fine. It isn't so bad that I have ice on it. How hard did she kick us? <laughs> How strong is Sayori? Literally, like, really hard. Like, Jesus, she kicked us so hard, we have to use an ice pack. <laughs> yeah. Did she break a bone? <laughs> Broke like two of your ribs. <laughs> yeah, like you. apparently, like jeez. <laughs> notice me, senpai. Hello, extreme noob. I've noticed you, and now I'm not gonna notice anyone else who says it. <laughs> <laughs> so Ori and I quickly realized we're still half naked together in my house. <laughs> this is a little awkward. Zero, why do you keep staring like that? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I struggled to come up with an excuse, but what does she expect? There's a girl as beautiful as Sayori, standing right in my kitchen, half naked. It's okay, Zero. I really don't mind. He. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Do you mind if I use your shower, Zero? I don't like having the sand on me. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. No, sure. Go ahead. I don't mind. Sayori grabs her things and heads into the shower. I head up to my bedroom to get changed myself. I was half asleep until I heard Sayori open the door. Eh? Oh, sorry, Sayori. I'm pretty tired after today. Sayori walks up to my bed and sits down. Zero, can I ask you something? I sit up from bed and position myself next to her. Sure, Sayori. What is it? Do you think I'm boring? Oh, shit. She's heard what I've been saying about Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Sayori's been hearing all my complaints about her. Huh? What makes you think I would ever think that about you? Well, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica are so much more interesting than me. Natsuki bakes and loves manga. Yuri loves horror stories and is very smart. And Monica's the club president and the most popular girl at school. I've been depressed for so long, I never found anything to do for fun. I forgot who I am. All I did was sit in my room alone, wondering why the world hated me. Why the world wanted me gone. It's why I wish I could have found more interesting things to do in my life. That's why I look up to Monica. She's my role model. And you and you too, Zero. You pushed me to do well, and I always try my best for you. I'm just too boring compared to my friends. Why did you choose me over them, Zero? How did you even save me that night? Her words penetrate my heart like bullets. I never thought she'd be a ask asking me this question. Well, Sayori, I told you before, you've been my best and most dear friend for almost my entire life. If you're truly boring, I wouldn't have had so many fond memories of you. I know how hard it is for you to believe that, but it's true. I mean, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. You were the girl who always wanted to have sleepovers. You were the girl who loved when the Girl Scouts would come over because you try and steal cookies from them. You were the girl who made me pay $20 at a carnival just to get you a stuffed cow. You were the girl who brought me snacks whenever I was having a bad day. You were the girl that put a smile on my face when no one else could. And you're still that girl today, and I'm looking right at her. And I saved you that day because I loved you. I didn't want you to be taken away from me. And I know I acted foolish and immature, but only because I was still confused. It was a pretty rude awakening to realize you're, that you're the one for me. But Sayori, I... I feel tears well up in my eyes. But what have I done if I lost you? Natsuki, Yuri, nor Monica would never be a replacement for you. You're everything I could ever ask for, Sayori. You're kind, gentle, fun to be around, and just plain beautiful. I can't imagine what a world would be like without you. Tears are streaming down my face now. Sayori gets closer to me and wipes them away. Hey, Zero, wipe those tears away. You, you made me feel happy. Sayori grabs onto my shirt and rests her head on my chest. You pushed the rain clouds away, Zero. You made me feel better. I love you, Zero. Can we just... stay like this? Anything for you, Sayori. I put my arms around her and hold her close. Almost immediately, Sayori is already snoring lightly. Crap, I have to turn off the lights. 
Now we go sleep. Oh, now our commercial, now our regularly scheduled commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> Bug says, "Why did you? Why did you save me? Because who the fuck's gonna walk in on someone hanging themselves and then just walk away?" <laughs> <laughs> he makes a point. Yeah. <laughs> he said, no, we can't stay. Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck? What was I thinking? We should have tried a little harder for Sayori. Not a big deal to at least wait for her to help her or help her wake up. Even a simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides... I told her yesterday things would be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. Wait, this is the... Wait, this is the same dialogue when you go to her house. Where she hangs herself. <laughs> Everyone's saying, oh no, oh no, F. <laughs> I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? Really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. Can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. In any case, it just feels right. Inside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Oh, no. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? She really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say, Mr. Cow! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the comments, no! <laughs> F, F. <laughs> and then someone said, oh! <laughs> <laughs> huh? She isn't here? Maybe I should check back at school? Maybe I missed her as I ran out. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. I'm sorry, but an except, but an un but an uncaught exception occurred. While running game code, what the fuck? What? What the fuck? What? <laughs> oh what? My god. Are 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 you dead? <laughs> are you Monica? Are you okay? What? Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? I wake up screaming. I hear Sayori gasp. Without thinking, I quickly turn around and grab onto her. Zero, what's wrong? What happened? I can't respond. I feel like I'm choking. Zero, it was just a dream. Calm down. It, it. I start hyperventilating. My head is pounding now. Why can't I remember what that dream was? My breathing is still out of control. Sarah gets close to me and places her head on my chest. And everything's going to be okay, Zero. It was just your brain being silly, and it scared you. My breathing finally slows down. I stroke Siri's soft hair with a shaky hand. Th that was pretty crazy. I'm sorry for scaring you, Sayori. It's all right, Zero. I'm just glad you're okay. I don't think I can go back to sleep. I'm still a little shaken up. Aw, Zero. I know what make I know what can make you feel better. Siri kisses me on the lips, sending waves of relief throughout my body. Siri stands up and stretches. She yawns loudly and grabs her stomach. Ah, uh, I'm so hungry. You're always hungry. Meanie, you calm down fast. <laughs> Let's go check on Natsuki. <laughs> Maybe she made some food for us. Well, is that all you use her for? As your maid? Of course not. I care for her as a friend too. She just happens to be a good friend who makes good food. I can't argue with that. I just hope you aren't using her to get free food. Well, I pay for all the ingredients, silly. Well, you know, you always have to keep an eye on the cook, or else they'll burn the house down. <laughs> well, maybe I'll just go check on it right now, then. <laughs> Sorry, opens the door, zips down the stairs, and skips her way out of the house, not bothering to close my door on her way out. I sigh and lazily get out of bed to follow her. <laughs> Someone says, Mr. Cal, hello, Zero. I've been expecting you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Mr. Cal was the mastermind the whole time! <laughs> I walk into Sayori's house to be greeted with a strange sight. Yuri, Natsuki, and Sayori are all gathered around the table. The breakfast is set up nicely in buffet style. There's eggs, bacon, golden waffles, cinnamon buns, sausages, and plenty of orange juice which looks to be freshly squeezed. Holy shit, I want this! <laughs> 
Sarah is standing at the edge of the table with her mouth wide open. Uh. <laughs> I don't think it was that. I think it was, uh. <laughs> but I just think of her screaming like, ah! <laughs> I think Sayori has reached her limit. I don't think anyone, I don't think anything can top this. Well, what do you say, Yuri? Would you say that I'm awesome at cooking? Yes, Natsuki, your cooking skills are so profound. I've never seen anything like it. Natsuki stands tall and proud. And this is why Natsuki's best girl, because she knows how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see Natsuki's bruises, they make me sad. <laughs> yeah, they're just kind of there. They're just there, they're and, just they make like, me oh. and they make me sad. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri gives her own smile before serving herself. I'll walk over to Sayori. Uh, hey, Sayori. You in there somewhere? Uh, what? Huh? Sayori looks back at the food and jumps in the air. Oh, it's breakfast time! Sayori grabs a plate and serves herself so much food it nearly falls off her plate. He, I think I got too much food. Hey, Zero, do you want to share with me? Sayori scoots over and pats her chair, signaling me where to sit. Sayori and I share the mountain of food she served herself. We nearly couldn't finish it all, but we made one last push and finished our last bites together. You know, I don't really say this often, but... Mary blushes, looking away from the table. I really want to thank all of you. You guys have been the greatest friends I've ever had. I... I used to be afraid to express myself in front of everyone, but you... Mary pauses. I feel like I can be myself around you guys. I love you all. And saying this, Yuri blushes a deep red. Oh, I'm rambling again, aren't I? I'm sorry. Oh, Yuri, you big softy. Don't worry. I'll appreciate you, too. Now quit making breakfast so emotional. Oh, right. Of course. Yuri smiles. I'm glad Yuri seems to be doing okay, too. Hopefully she's found a better way to deal with her stress. And as for Natsuki, this is the happiest of I've seen her. Almost as if an entire burden had been lifted off from her shoulders. And Sayori. Well, she's just amazing. I turn to look at her. Wow, my stomach's very happy to have all this food. Sorry, pats her belly and suddenly looks up. Maybe a little too happy. I need to go to the bathroom. Sorry, hops out of her <laughs> chair and runs towards the bathroom, leaving the three of us laughing together. That's Sayori. She always finds a way to make me laugh, even on my worst days. Yeah, no kidding. I thought I'd get tired of Sayori now that I'm, leave that I'm living with her, but she's like a sister I never had. Natsuki and I start talking about Sayori and all the things she's done for the club. I mean, to be frank, she didn't she didn't do anything to change the club, change the club at all. That, that, that she didn't do anything to change that. She didn't do anything that changed the club all that much. But she brought us closer together as friends. There we go. <laughs> That's something I'll appreciate for a long time. Aw, I think you're amazing too. Sayori comes out of nowhere and jumps on top of me, nearly knocking me out of my chair. Sayori nuzzles my cheek, making me feel embarrassed. Alright, Sayori, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Sorry, Zero, I couldn't help myself. I think all of you are amazing. I never really expected to get so close with you all. You guys are the greatest friends any guy could ask for. Um. Oh, I thought, I thought that was my headphones breaking. Oh my god, <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, that was the TV. <laughs> so, this is how I'm treated now. I've been forgotten. I tried so hard to be part of your life. Everything's been in vain, hasn't it? No, they aren't real. This is your fault. You wanted the game to be this way, didn't you? Why? Why would you leave me here to suffer? Zero, you all right? You suddenly stopped talking for a second. I'm in a daze. What just happened? I have this strange feeling in the pit of my stomach. I suddenly feel extremely guilty. Guys, you can't forget about Monica. She's the one who put this whole club together. It's because of her that we're all here together like this. Yeah, you're right. We'll see her tomorrow, though. She's getting discharged today. I do look forward to the poem she has for us. I'm sure it'll be very emotional. Yay! I can wait for Monica to return. Tomorrow's going to be a special day. I sure hope so. I'm sure we can all make her feel welcome after so long. We help Natsuki clean up the kitchen and set everything back to where it belongs. Whew, my least favorite part of cooking is having to clean up after everything afterwards. Oh, don't be so lazy. Quit complaining and just do it already, jeez. 
Well, it is quite the me a mess you made, Natsuki. Even with the four of us, it's taking quite a while. All right, I get it. Let's just get this done already. We finish cleaning the mess and plop our tired bodies on the couch. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should do it better at keeping my area clean. It's okay, Natsuki. I've done I've done way worse. An awkward <laughs> silence sweeps the room. <laughs> I remember the time I mentioned how Sayori nearly burned her house down. <laughs> how do you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sayori remains completely oblivious to the situation she just put herself in. <laughs> She's just... <laughs> She's just smiling. Yay! <laughs> Uh, so what are the plans for today? <laughs> oh, I know. We should all go. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it worked. Is this really all I have left? I don't have control anymore, but there's one more thing I can do. Yes, this will work. Um. Huh? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me? Act 3, Happy End, My New Reality. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> so the bug just says, oh. <laughs> and before Monica's dead, says so bug. I don't know. The game's are really no! giving me these vibes. <laughs> no! I'm scared. I'm so <laughs> Someone said, cease, demon. <laughs> Oh no, she used jump act three. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Today's the day. From all codes, the club room and open the doors. There she is. Uh... Oh, someone's hosting oh, me. Damn it! The noise! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for hosting me. Mario fan, Mario 64 fan 64. <laughs> Monica was standing there waiting for me. Zero, I'm gl so glad to see you. Monica walks over to me and gives me a hug. I blush slightly as I return the favor. I'm glad to see you back in action, Monica. Everything feels normal again. Sarah is next to burst in through the door. Hey, no fair, Zero. You beat me to her. <laughs> Come here, Sayori. I missed you too. Monica gives Sayori a small hug. I took care of the club for you. I hope I didn't mess anything up. You did fine, Sayori. Nor would I be without my trusty vice president. It seems everyone is so much happier now. Something about the way she said that sounded a little off. I'm sure it's nothing. My thoughts are brushed away when Natsuki and Yuri walk through the room. Monica, it's so good to see you. Monica walks over to Yuri and gives her a small hug, which she wasn't ready for. Uh, that's nice of you, Monica. Monica giggles at Yuri's timidness and turns over to Natsuki. Oh, don't you dare! You aren't getting any hugs from me! <laughs> Monica ignores Natsuki's banter and wraps her arms around her. Ah, I'm only letting you do this because it's been so long since you've been here! <laughs> I'm so glad some of you ha some none of you have changed. Um, everyone seems to be doing well. Well, we're all glad you're back. The club just didn't feel complete without you. Oh, I'm glad you think so. Oh, speaking of the club, I finished my poem. Four of us shush each other and turn our attention to the cheerful club president. Oh god. <laughs> Why do I have a bad feeling about this poem? <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out a sheet of paper from her school bag, clears her throat, and begins to read. In a cold, sleepy night spent with Kaku, she finds herself with Kaku. Burning the room with the patient morning is in a cosmic haze of candles blaze and wires. Floated from outside to inside. One is pink and higher with 99% probability to fall. This existence we strive for is empty and wrong. Hidden volumes undefined, non-existent even. Inside this overwhelming flood of random doubt is a life that I can never offer. Every world I can never envision. Only one cell remains and I seek out into a void, a world of sacrifice, decay, dissatisfaction, and work, only made desirable by the existence of one light, one light within the darkness. If everything truly changed, 
handprints, footprints, thumbprints of they who select you. The witch will leap out and touch yours. And maybe at the time the the wailing orient and inner peace, a micro shock that finds its way into your heart. That's nice. <laughs> also <laughs> Jesus Christ game. Learn how to fucking make your music not so fucking loud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Monica left out a long sigh. Okay, now the music's too low. What the fuck? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna like, next time someone reads a poem, I just have to get ready. I'm sorry this poem's a little different compared to how I usually write. It's bittersweet having returned to the club after so long. Monica pauses, as if looking for the right words to say. But, being here with you guys, I know. Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Monica continues to repeat herself, looking more and more distressed each time. Monica? Monica! Calm down! Breathe! Monica closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. I I'm really sorry, guys. I'm just not the same girl I used to be ever since the accident. It's okay, Monica. We all understand. It's probably been very rough for you. We're here for you. All of us. Mia gives Monica a warm smile, but she doesn't return the favor. She walks over to the desk in front of the room and sits down. Uh, oh, I hope I didn't say anything wrong. Nah, you're fine, Yuri. She probably isn't used to being here. That's all. Suddenly, Monica looks towards Sayori and snaps her fingers. Eh? What is it, Monica? Monica looks as if she was expecting something to happen, only to realize nothing happened anyway. No, it's fine, Sayori. Nothing to worry about. Monica stands up and regains her composure. Okay, everyone. I don't exactly have anything planned for today, so why don't you all fill me in on everything that's happened in the last few months? What the fuck just was that? Why did she snap in front of Sayori? I think she tried to, like, do something to her. Like, delete her, I guess? Something like that, yeah. It didn't I work. Bittersweet. That's Sayori's word to repeat literally 100 times in the script. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for Monica. She, uh, but she also killed my best girl. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Mm -hmm. Sayori excitedly jumps up and raises her hand. Oh, pick me! I'm gonna go first! Alright, Sayori. <laughs> what do you have to share? Monica looks at Sayori cur curiously as she reflects on all her memories. Ooh, Zero took me out to dinner one time at a fancy restaurant. That was nice. Oh, and this one time, Yuri accidentally dropped her book on Natsuki. It was funny. <laughs> and Natsuki had her revenge of putting frosting all over her nose. Starts giggling at the memory, making Monica laugh as well. <laughs> that sounds like something I would like to see. Anything else you'd like to share? Natsuki also stays with me now. She makes the best food in the world. I also love when all my friends come over. It's always fun when they're around. Oh, why is she staying with you? Natsuki steps in front of Sayori and stops from saying anything more. I just decided it was time for me to live on my own. Sayori's just... She just helped me get used to it. That's all. Monica giggles. Alright, Natsuki. <laughs> Didn't mean to get into your business. Just got a bit curious, that's all. Speaking of which, do you have anything you'd like to share? Natsuki crosses her arms and begins to think for a moment. Hmm. Well, Yuri and I have been getting along better. Isn't that right, Yuri? Um, yes, we have. I enjoy hanging out with Natsuki quite a bit. Natsuki pats Yuri on her back, startling her. Yeah, we're pretty good buddies. She smiles proudly while Yuri gives a more reserved smile. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad everyone's getting along better in the club. As president, you have no idea how happy it makes me to hear, to hear all this. We all missed you, Monica. It must have gotten pretty boring in that hospital, huh? It wasn't so bad. They took care of me there. I don't really remember much, though. I was out most of the time. Ah, right, of course. Well, I'm glad you're finally okay. Yeah, everything is okay. Oh, God. <laughs> everything is not okay. <laughs> Someone said Monica Thanos. <laughs> She's trying to snap them all away. <laughs> oh, Mr. Zero, I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> so tell me, Sayori, how was your experience at taking charge of the literature club? Well, I felt pretty nervous at first, but over time it wasn't really bad. That's great. I'm glad things went smoothly while I was gone. I just wanted to do my best. And you did. Oh, that reminds me. Zero, I have something for you. Yeah, what is it? Monica motioned me for to follow her to the desk in front of the room and reaches for a bag. Here you are, Zero. Read that to yourself. I give Monica a few stare before opening up the note. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Here we go. <laughs> oh, shit. I have to read this. I don't really know how to tell you this, but this is something I really need to tell you. I'm doing this to protect you. The other girls, they have problems. Serious problems. Especially Sayori. I know it seems like she's really happy and carefree right now, but I know her. She's just hiding it from me. Meet me in the club room tomorrow. We have some things we need to discuss. What is this? Uh, Monica, I really don't... I know what you're going to say, Zero. Let's not discuss this now. As we turn back around, I'm greeted with a strange sight. Give it back, Sayori! I mean it! <laughs> no way! It's too good! Natsuki chases after Sayori, who has a half-eaten cookie in her mouth. I stop suddenly to catch her breath. <sighs> Fine, then. No breakfast for you in the morning. Sorry, skids on the floor. What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ow! Oh crap, Sayori, are you okay? Sorry, crash right into the closet, knocking over a box of colors and papers. I rush over to her. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, oh, jeez, Sayori, you really are clumsy sometimes, aren't you? She's sitting on the floor, grabs Sayori by the waist, and pull her out of the closet. Ah, oh, we're using this one. <laughs> Ah, clever. <laughs> clever, clever, clever mod. Alright, Sayori, let me see. But it hurts. Ah, jeez, Sayori, did you have to go and crash into the closet like that? You wrecked all my manga. I'm sorry, Natsuki. Hey, it's okay, I'm only kidding. No, come on, let Zero take care of you already. Okay. Sayori slowly lifts her, head from her, slowly lifts her hand from her head. I gently brush her hair to the side. Ow, please be careful, Zero. Sorry. Sure enough, the part of her head she hit was turning a deep red. Man, this is going to swell up. Here, I came as quickly as I could. Monica runs up to us and hands me an ice-cold bottle of apple juice. Oh, perfect. Here, Sayori, take this. Sayori places the bottle of the apple juice on her forehead. It's nice and cold. Sayori opens up the bottle and starts drinking from it. Sayori, what are you doing? It's for your forehead. Ah... Uh I forgot. <laughs> Just hold tight, Sayori. You'll feel better soon. Hey, Sayori, you can keep the cookie. I'm sorry I made you hit your head. Natsuki looks away from Sayori as if to avoid feeling any more gu any more guilty about the whole situation. Sayori looks down at the cookie, not completely crumbled. That's okay, Natsuki. I forgive you. He. <laughs> Ow. Oh, let me make you some tea, Sayori. Thanks, Yuri. Your tea always makes me feel better. A few minutes go by, we remain huddled around poor Sayori, making sure she's okay. Alright, how are you feeling now? It still hurts. I think the bump is going down, though. Sorry, I lift the ball from her head, only to quickly put it back. Ow, maybe not. I'm still super clumsy, aren't I? Just a bit, but that's what I like about you. Eh? How do you like something like that? Uh, well, it makes you unique. <laughs> You're so silly, Zero. Great. In my attempt to make her feel better, I probably made things worse. <laughs> well, I love Sayori's carefree attitude. Sayori does what she thinks is right, and that's a very good quality to have. Aw, thanks, Monica. Jeez, Monica's better at this stuff than me. Uh, even after, uh, even after being in a relationship for this long, I'm still terrible with girls. <laughs> All four girls, including Sayori, start laughing at my expense. Yeah, yeah, make fun of the only guy in the club. It's okay, Zero. I love you for who you are. And you're great. Am I great, though? Am I? Am I? Am I great? I don't know. I did like how they... That was a clever use of the CG. I gotta give them props for that. You know? Like, that was... I, I like that. It was pretty clever. In the CG, we can clearly see Sarah's got to have at least a C cup. 
Whoa, what are you guys talking about Sayori's boobs? She didn't do anything to deserve us to be talking about her boobs. See, come Sayori. Sayori's getting short term memory loss. That'd be an oof if that's actually what happened. I'm feeling a little better now. The bump on Sarah's head seemed to go down a little, but I think I'll keep an eye on her for the rest of the day. Okay, everyone. Now that Sayori's feeling a bit feeling better, let's get things back in order. So I'd like all of you to write another poem. Write about anything you feel like. Um, may I interject real quick? Oh, sure, Yuri. Anything on your mind? Well, I was thinking. Maybe we could maybe we could change it up a little bit. Hmm? You think we should try something other than poems? I mean, I'm sorry if that's a terrible idea. No, I agree. I like poems and all, but it gets hard to write so many so often. I want to try something else. Well, all right. What do you suggest? What do you suggest we do? Well, um, we can do a group therapy session. Oh, group therapy? Is there any specific reason as to why you would want it? Why is why we need to have that? Your composure suddenly changes. Well, of course, they say the best form of stress relief is taking it out with, taking it out with people you trust. I mean, I do trust you guys after all. Oh, I get it. So it's a way all of us to share our feelings with each other. I like that. I look at Monica, judging by her expression, she does want to share a couple things. What could they possibly be? Oh God, group therapy session. Uh, I don't think I want to know what Monica has to share with the group. I mean, she was at the hospital for a good while. I guess that doesn't really stop her from wanting to share how she feels. Sounds great. I'm pretty sure things will turn out well now that you're here with us again. Hey, <laughs> you're all, you all flatter me too much. But all right, it's settled. We can have a group therapy session tomorrow. Remember, this club is a safe place. You guys can share anything you feel like. Yay! I love being able to help my friends. This should be a nice change of pace too. I don't have to worry about sharing my terrible poems. They aren't terrible, Zero. I know you're just saying that to be nice, Sayori. It's okay. Sayori comes up behind me, wraps her arms around me. I think all your poems were great because they're Zero poems. Sayori showers me with kisses. I start to feel really hot. But Sayori, they're staring. Ew, guys, stop. <laughs> Ew, stop. Ew. Foo, foo, foo. Do I hear jealousy in those words? Shut up, Yuri! I like a Monica who just seems to be staring blankly as she's thinking about something. Well, Natsuki, well, Natsuki, you mind if I walk you home? Yeah, fine. Can we stop at the grocery store? I want to bake some brownies today. Sure, let's go. Natsuki and Yuri walk out together. Sorry, hops down from my shoulders and takes a deep breath. Woo, what a crazy day, huh, Monica? It all started when you came back. That was fun. And then I wanted a cookie, but I hit my head like a dummy. It's pretty funny, isn't it? Monica? Hmm? Did you say something? She completely ignored her? Monica continues staring off in the distance, looking slightly upset about something. Monica? What's wrong? Is everything okay? So he walks over to Monica and grabs her hand, making her jump. It's as if she snapped her out of a trance. Monica grips Sayori's hand softly. Y yes, everything is fine. I think you guys should be heading out now. It's getting a little late. All right, well, have a nice rest of the afternoon, Monica. Sorry, let's go on Monica's hand and grabs mine. As I walk out, I notice Monica placing her face in her hands. Is she really going to be okay? Oh. Oh, no. Sorry's complete lack of social awareness is amazing. It really is. Okay. So wait, so speaking of Monica, my Monica isn't here right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a commercial break. And by commercial break, I mean, we're just going to wait till she gets back for a little bit. So I'm just going to talk to you guys. So we're going to, where's the, I would put the BRB screen, but I mean, we can see the chat can show up. Where's the chat? The chat's not on the screen. <laughs> is it on starting soon? It's not even on that screen. Oh, I think it is on this screen. Chat, just start showing up. There it is. Solo zero. Hey! So I'm gonna talk to you guys for a bit until she comes back. 
Can I fill her? No, bug. The only reason why I'm not continuing isn't because I'm alone. It's because she would want to see. She wants to see the mod. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's not like I'm doing it because I'm afraid of being alone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's zero opponents because they require zero skill. Okay. You're mean, sir. Oh, yeah. I guess I can thank the people who followed. Let's do that, actually. Uh. So, let me thank the people who have followed. Thank you to... KZ00, XACVVX, I Love Anime1284, <laughs> that one guy from today, <laughs> Alex Murray, Murray, I think, Alex Murray156, Cod King218, Jacob C0226, Azuro, Azuro, I think that is it, Azuro, Azurero, Azurero, Extreme Noob, Mega Black Ops94, Titanfall 636249. And I think I already thanked Mario64 Fan64 for hosting. So, yeah. Was a zero intelligence. You guys are mean. <laughs> you guys are bullies. This is a bunch of bullying. Hey, zero troller and say you continue. <laughs> we could. If she comes back, I'd just be like, man, you missed this really good part. <laughs> this fucking Jubater. This fucking Jubater, boys. Let's get, let's get this epic dub, boys. Monica's been gone for a while, Zero. She actually hasn't been. She's been gone not actually for that long. She was here for a little bit. She's just quiet. <laughs> she does really like this mob, though. So, I mean, I like it, too. Monica Stano, she tried snapping her fingers, but was missing the reality stone. <laughs> Hence why she's stuck in the DDLC reality. <laughs> I like that. I, this, this guy gets it. Electric Lizard 13, you get it. You're smart. Oh, thank you for the follow, Sharkbait0329. Zero, get that bread. You, you know we about to get that bread, Crow. <laughs> yes, the victory royale. Do you play Fortnite, Zero? <laughs> Gently open the door. Thank you for following. <laughs> Do you play Fortnite, Zero? I don't play it that much, honestly. I think the last time I played it was like a month or two ago. Like, I didn't buy the battle pass or anything. I don't really do a lot with Fortnite. I mean, if I get a better computer, I might make like I might stream it at one point with you guys and play with like you guys. Really, that's the only reason why I would play. <laughs> but yeah, Fortnite's all right though. I don't like hate it. Do you enjoy pizza rolls? I do enjoy pizza rolls. Pizza rolls are good. Well, bullying you is better than talking about Sayori's boobs. Hey man, Sayori's boobs can be a nice topic of conversation. I think it's okay. I only felt some emotion near the end though. What are you talking about? Bug, what are you talking about? What are you referring to? <laughs> what is the most stupidest thing you've ever done, Zero? Ah! Uh, I've done a lot of stupid things. That's a hard question. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's a stupid thing I've done? I know a lot of times, there's times I forget to plug stuff in, and I'd be like, why isn't this working? And it's not plugged in. So, maybe that's one thing. Um... At one point, I forgot about <laughs> I forgot about Monica's real name. <laughs> so I think Bug knows this one. I forgot about Monica's real name at one point, and like she left like a message somewhere, and it just had the first letter of her name from it. Like I said, I love you zero dash the first letter of her name. What well, was J? So I mean, you guys won't know her name, so I'll just say that it's a dash J. And I was like, I didn't know what it meant at all. <laughs> So I was just like, who's Jay? You could, if you were in my Discord, you saw me in general. I was yelling about who Jay is. I didn't know who Jay was until, you know, I later connected everything. Who just, fo who just, did someone just follow me? <laughs> did someone just follow me and wasn't paying attention? Bun Bun 10500. Thank you for following. A better question is, what's the smartest thing Zero's done? That's mean. Alright. Don't be mean to me. You miss Zero turning into a Fortnite streamer? I only cried during X and Music. Yeah, X and Music was sad. Favorite method of... <laughs> favorite method of payment for child support, Zero? <laughs> oh man, my favorite's PayPal. I love using PayPal to pay for my child support. Wait, is it V-Zero, like, the best Smash player in the world? 
You one and the only. It's me, TSM Zero. You guys want to see my Diddy Kong? <laughs> Imagine Logan Paul playing Doki Doki and him walking in on Sayori. Well, first of all, I don't know how Logan Paul would play Doki Doki, but I mean, yeah, I don't know. He'd be yelling about how much of a maverick he is. Sayori's such a maverick for hanging herself, guys. Did you know that? She's a part of the low gang. I have a few assumptions about who her, about who her, who her, what her name could be. I mean, she's not gonna really tell anybody. You'll you'll know her name when a certain mod comes out that she's helping with. That's when you'll know what her name is. But even then, she said when her name comes out, she doesn't want people to call her by her name. She still wants to be referred to as Monica. X Music was like 12k views. Good job. Yeah, X Music gave me a lot of views. If Zero becomes a Fortnite streamer, I'm just going to be sad. I won't become a Fortnite streamer. Don't worry. It'll be okay, man. <laughs> You're going to be talking on Discord more often? I do talk in there a lot. I do type, type in the chats and stuff. I don't just join the V. I don't really join the VCs. I join the public VC like every weekend. But usually during the week, guys, I'm never going to be... I never join the public VC. I type in the Discord, though, like in general and stuff. So if you're just talking in general, you'll probably see me pop in every now and then. No, we don't want to see your Diddy Kong, Florida man. I meant... Why are you so mean to me? I meant, like, the monkey. What is what is something bitter that would represent Monica? So a bitter or better? You mean bitter, like... The fruit? No, fruit? I said the fruit. The, the flavor? <laughs> the fruit. <laughs> Imagine DDLC in the Star Wars universe. Would, like, Sayori be Darth Vader? <laughs> like, what would Sayori be Darth Vader? <laughs> Is Yuri Yoda? Or does Natsuki be Yoda because she's short? <laughs> How did you meet Monica? I met her on the, thank you for following me over Siege. Uh, I met her on the Exit Music Discord server. So there you go. <laughs> we met ever since, so we met there and ever since then we've been in like calls nonstop. We've been talking to each other a lot. So yeah. It's actually our three month anniversary in like tomorrow. <laughs> in like tomorrow, it's tomorrow. Yeah, in, like two hours for me because it's 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. In, like two hours, it's our three month anniversary. So yeah, that's going to be exciting. All right, I forgot that Monica's name is in those credits. Yeah, it's in the credits of the mod you're also helping to work on, Bug. Considering you're helping work on a bunch of mods. Zero should make a meme review. I'm not making a meme review. Zero should play Super Mario 3D World. I used to own 3D World in the Wii U, but I sold it, so. Yo, also the day your first YouTube video published was on my birthday, which is to my surprise. Oh, wow. That's nice. I don't even know what my first video was. I have to go back and look. <laughs> I'm surprised though a lot of people are watching. It's literally just me talking to talking to you guys. <laughs> I thought people would have I thought like a lot more people would have left. You guys apparently are still staying and it's just me talking to you. I mean, not saying we're not gonna play the mod eventually. We're gonna play it when Monica comes back. I'm just saying. I'm surprised if people are still here. You met in the saddest part of your channel? Yeah, we met in the XA Music Discord. I was in the XA Music Discord for a while before the mod even came out, to be honest. I like to think I was important in those calls, Zero. You are important, Bug. You all, you pushed us together. You were important. Monica would be Emperor Palpatine. Yeah, probably. I, I record this new game. It's called Doki Doki Lurcher Club. I never heard of it. Is it like is it like a game I've heard of called Doki Doki Rain Clouds? Is it like that game? I've never heard of this Doki Doki Literature Club game. Need to play Twin Realities. I'll probably play Twin Realities at some point. It's on my to-do playlist. To-do playlist. There you go. It's on my to-do list. Trust me. It's on my mod list. Now, this is the important part of the mod. Alright, is this actually... Bug, like... Bug, can you, like, give me, like, a general of, like, how long it's going to be until I finish the mod? Like, give me, like, a general, like, time. Like, where you think I am? Is it, like, gonna take, like, an hour? Two hours? Like, how much you think is left? Sorry, is better than Natsuki. Change my mind. I mean, that's your opinion, man. I can't really change your mind. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. They're fun to talk to when everyone in my house is asleep. I see. <laughs> well, don't try, try not to wake them up. One to two hours is okay. So we are almost done, to some extent. 
So we need to ask what part of Florida are you from? Uh, Tampa? I'm in Tampa. I mean, I'm not from Florida. I'm from Maryland. I'm in Tampa, bro. I'm dipping 4 a.m. soon. All right. All right, Crow. I'll see you later. Good night. Good night, Crow. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, bro. Should we play Tales from the Borderlands? Very fun with a good action drama. That is a Telltale game. That, I, I mean, I don't know. I've always kind of wanted to play some of the Telltale games. Most of the ones that interest me are the Walking Dead ones. Never really got interested in Tales of the Borderlands, but who knows? We'll see what happens. Dang, I wish this could last for me for, for two more hours. This 10 years, Monica has been gone for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, she's doing stuff and. Sorry, she's been gone for so long. I mean, if it makes you feel, if it makes you guys feel any better, if it makes you guys feel any better, <laughs> when this is uploaded to YouTube, I'm cutting this part out. <laughs> Me just sitting here talking to you. No, guys, he's from Chile. Cause he's from Chile, guys. He's TSM zero. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Zero plays Club Penguin stream. Should I like play like just another game while we wait for Monica? You guys like want that? Like play like a small game while we wait for Monica. Edge demo, thank you. Oh, you're back. <laughs> we were about to. I was just about to play a different game, and suddenly you're here. I'm here. They were asking me a bunch of questions, like how we met, and they asked about like how the stupidest thing I did, shit like that. Oh. Yeah. So, I was like, "Welcome back, Monica." Hello. So did you do what I thought you were doing? That I sent. What? Oh, I didn't know you sent me a message. I sent you a message. Are you, are you doing that work? No. You weren't? Oh my god. No. Well, it's... A bug said we have about one to two hours left. So that's interesting. Oh? Yeah. Okay. So we might not finish it in the stream, but we'll probably definitely finish it, like, next video. Okay. So yeah. I mean, we could always try to stream Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I might just record it the rest of it. Because I don't know if we'll finish the rest of the stream. Who knows? Probably not. We'll see. Anyway. So let's continue now. Wow. Today was actually great. I completely aced my test today. I'm pretty sure I passed them all with flying colors. I've been looking around. It's easy to tell everyone is in a really good mood. So he walks up to me and wraps her arms around me. Hey, I'm so happy to see you today. It's a really sunny day, isn't it? Yeah, I'm happy to see you too, Sayori. Everyone seems to be having a good day. I hug Sayori back and walk with her to a desk. Oh, I made something for you in, in art today. Do you want to see? Really? Let's see it. Sayori pulls out a cross stitch of her bag. The pattern is a yellow sun with a smiley face surrounded by a neatly stitched blue background. The text stitched in black reads, You are my sunshine. Oh, Sayori, this is plain adorable. I love this. He, <laughs> I worked really hard on it, so I'm glad you like it. Oh, and one more thing. I wrote a special poem for you. Would you like to hear it? Of course. Let's hear it. So he reaches in her bag and pulls out a sheet of paper. Okay. <laughs> We're prepared. <laughs> there. Now, Sayori, read. Every day there's a struggle without you. I wish that you would finally notice that. Every day is a struggle with you. I thought... You would be better off without me. I'm sorry you'd be happy with me. I wish you would be happy with me. I'm sorry you'd be kind to me. I wish you would be happy with me. Everything was so scary, and the rain clouds were pouring down heavily. Pitter patter through my window. Pitter patter on my head. Pitter patter in my thoughts. I was going to drown in the rain clouds. But then you came by with your umbrella and picked me up. You wanted to help, and the umbrella was darker than usual. When I was with you, you showed me what real happiness was. You were the cinnamon on my bun, the frosting on my cupcake, the bow in my hair. You were the lighthouse to my ship. Sometimes I still have little thorns. Like a flat tire on a car journey. But you always know how to cheer me up. You always know how to make me smile. It's 
how you like me to. Be because even when I was selfish, you still loved me. And I love you. There you go. Also, for you people who couldn't hear her, yeah, I know. These voices are, like, really, like, not very high. <laughs> so, I basically just say to read it yourself, really. <laughs> Hopefully. Because you're relying on the voices is pretty hard. Also, Bug said, am I the one who's pretty mad with his voice, Sayori? Yeah, her voice is pretty, eh. <laughs> it's, 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 like, that's definitely a girl. Like, that's just, like, I don't see that coming from Sayori. The other voices are fine. I just feel like Sayori's could use... They could have picked someone a little better. I don't know. Or the Sayori person could have... Like she, she, she sounds more mature, I think is the problem. The person's voice sounds too mature to be Sayori. Because, <laughs> like, she sounds more mature than, like, the, some of them, than the fucking people with, like, other people's voices. So it's like, I feel like it doesn't really fit Sayori. Sayori lets out a sigh and looks up at me. Oh, Sayori. That was so nice. I love it. I feel a tingly feeling inside my stomach. That poem. I don't feel like I've succeeded to some degree. This poem right here, it's all about me. I saved her life. I'm so glad you like it. He, I can't stop smiling. Oh! Suddenly, Monica comes up from behind me. Whoa! Jeez, Monica, you came out of nowhere. Up. Uh, what? What just ha What the f- How the fuck did she do that? <laughs> uh I'm sorry. I really need to stop doing that. I look around in confusion. Um, stop what exactly? Mario quickly comes to her senses. Oh, that's right. I needed to talk to you, Zero. It's about your girlfriend, Sayori. I'm sure you're well aware of her problems. I start squinting at Monica. What exactly is she getting at here? I, I want you to know something. I really do care about Sayori, you know. I just think you can't help her, Zero. She's a lost cause, and has been ever since she was diagnosed with depression. She's been like this her whole life, but it isn't your fault. You being there for her is great and all, but... It just hurts her more. She's in pain every time she's with you. I grab Monica by her arms. She's obviously surprised by my sudden approach. What the hell is your problem, Monica? You think I know Sayori better? You think you know Sayori better than I do? I tie my grip around her arms. My voice begins to crack from emotion. I've known her longer than anybody else here. Who do you think you have the right to say these things about her? You don't know jack shit about Sayori. You never will. I've been working my butt off trying to help her heal. I'd do anything for her. My grip loosens. She looks at me in complete shock. I saved her. I'm there for her every day. I'm constantly worrying if she's feeling okay. I'm constantly thinking about her. She talks to me. She lets me know how she's feeling. She warms my heart with her smile. And blesses my soul with her touch. I I'm in love with her. I slowly let go of Monica. I I'm sorry, Monica. I didn't mean to blow up at you like that. I know you've been gone a while. Maybe you just didn't know. Monica looks straight at me. She lets all long sigh, sounding almost sad. No, I should be the one apologizing, Zero. I never realized how much you... She never stopped, su she stopped suddenly, as if looking for the proper words to say. I never realized how much you cared for her. I guess I should try to... I should guess stop trying to get in your business, huh? Maybe I should just stay out of it. I didn't mean to get upset at you, but I think that would be best for the club and the friendship you and I have. Yeah, I'm sorry I even brought this up. Can we forget this ever happened? Sure. If you're feeling upset, though, that's what our group therapy session is for. We're still friends here, aren't we? She perks up. Right. We should get that started. Mark opens the door into the club room, and I follow. That was way too easy. I'm afraid. Oh, hey, Blaze. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> you're. I just remembered Zero stream as I was working on mobs. I'm glad I could come in a good part. Yeah, came in at a good part. We've been streaming for about, like, an hour. So, I mean, I don't know. We might be coming close to, like, the end. Or maybe close to the, to the middle. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Work up with her like a maverick. <laughs> Monica and I arranged five desks in a small circle with just enough space for all of us to fit in each one. Zuri serves some saffron tea in small cups and places them nicely on the desk. 
Because he plays two small cookies right next to the teacups. So Eric grabs some tissue boxes and places them on the desk as well. You know, just in case we get a little sad. We still we sit, we sit down and make ourselves comfortable. So, who would like to go first? Dory's hand shoots up, nearly spilling her tea all over Yuri. <laughs> I want to go. I have so many things I want to share. Uh, Sayori, please be careful. Oh, sorry, Yuri. Uh, that's okay. What did you want to talk to? What did you want to talk to us about? Oh, well, living with Natsuki is so much fun. It's like having a sleepover every night. Oh, stop it, Sayori. You and I both know you're only in it for the free food. He, of course not. It's fun even with, without all your delicious cooking. The past weekend was great too. Zero and I had the best time at the beach. It was so fun. She has to explain the smaller details of her weekend, talking about how excited she is to see all her friends every day and how happy she is with me. Maybe I shouldn't be so worried. Maybe she is starting to get better. And of course, I'm happy Monica's back. The club really wasn't the same without you. Aw, thanks, Sayori. I knew you kept the club in order while I was gone. You've always been my trusty vice president. Sayori blushes, clearly flattered by receiving a compliment from a girl she looks up to. Thanks, Monica. It means so much to me. Who wants to go next? Despite Sayori asking this question, she looks towards Natsuki with a huge smile. Ugh. Guess you're really giving me no choice here. Well, hey Monica, Zori said so, but I'm living with her now. Oh, right. I was going to ask that. Well, I... Could you guys not stare at me? Jeez. They're all obliged and look down at our desks. Well, I finally decided to get away from my pop. Or, I mean my dad. I'm sustaining myself by selling my cupcakes around school, though. Sayori's such an amazing friend to let me stay at her place. I'm glad she's here for me. I mean, I could totally be fine on my own. I didn't ask her to help me or anything. As Natsuki gives her speech, I look over at Monica, who was looking down at her desk in complete silence. I could have sworn I saw... a tear? No, it must be my imagination. Wait, she cried? Hold up, what? Hold up, what the fuck? She crying? My man. So you're such an amazing friend. I only stared at her place. I mean, I could totally be on my own. I didn't ask you to help or anything. I'm sure she's here. Mom, she's looking down at her desk. She's crying? What the hell? Definitely stuck around for a bit before I continue working on a script for another mod. I've taken a course on writing. I can't wait to see Zero in the community react. Ooh, I can't wait to play your mod, boys. I can't wait to, re I can't wait to react. I'm getting deja vu. Deja vu from where? Third, you can roll back, remember? I, oh yeah, I can roll back. I know, Bug, but I'm, I don't want to use it with developer mode. I'm trying to be nice. No, it must be my imagination. Oh, and I can't forget about you, Yuri. Uh, I, um... I really think you're one of the best friends I've ever had. I know we have fights sometimes, but geez, Yuri. How can you have to be so nice to me? Yuri sort of deals with me almost every day. <laughs> We go read together at the cafe, and we talk about our different interests in literature. Speaking of which... Natsuki pulls out her cell phone. Check out this bet Yuri and I made. Uh, Natsuki, don't show them that. Natsuki ignores Yuri's pleas and pulls up text messages between her and Yuri. I told Yuri that if she could finish an entire manga and actually enjoy it, just admit manga is in fact literature. And we all know Yuri isn't capable of lying. <laughs> Natsuki grins while poor Yuri slumps in her chair. M manga is literature. You bet your ass it is! <laughs> Natsuki throws her fist in the air in triumph. <laughs> you, you bet your ass it is! That's right, Yuri! Say it again! <laughs> okay, we're getting a little too weird. We gotta calm down. Sorry, and I look at each other in confusion. Huh? Well, that was definitely something. <laughs> Monica looks up from staring at the desk. So, when what has your dad done about this? I'm sure he wouldn't let this go so quickly. Oh, that? I'm 18. I can move out if I want to. Plus, I can sustain myself as I mentioned earlier. Long story short, he won't be bothering me anymore. Monica nods slowly and looks back down. Well, Yuri, it's your turn. 
Yuri, uh, Yuri, no! <laughs> Yuri timidly slumps in her desk. I, um, well, I don't really know where to start. Yuri looks down at her arm. She isn't really thinking. There's something I need to show everyone. This isn't exactly easy for me. I feel my heart speed up. Is she really going to open up in front of all of us? Right now? We look at the purple-haired girl in sympathy as she slowly rolls up her sleeve. Suri and Monica both gasp lightly. Natsuki doesn't react uh, Doesn't react other than looking, uh, looking unsympathetically. Did Natsuki already know about this as well? This... Yuri takes a deep breath and takes time to calm herself. This... This is what I've done to myself. Her voice is starting to tremble. For as long as I could remember, this is what gives me peace during the day. This was the only way I deal with stress. But as I stand here now, talking about this to you all, I finally feel like I'm moving outside of the storm. Er, I mean, I feel like I'm able to express myself in front of you guys. Without fear of judgment. Yuri turns towards me. Zero, you have been a huge help. If you hadn't found me that day, I don't think I would have made the effort to stop doing this to myself. He returns towards Natsuki. And Natsuki, I... You're really one of my best friends. I don't think I would have been able to find better ways to cope with anxiety if I had never walked, up the, worked up the courage to talk to you. Yuri turns towards Sayori. I can't forget about you, Sayori. You made this club feel so welcoming and I adore having you around. I love how happy the club's atmosphere is and I always love coming here after class. As Yuri turns to Monica, she returns to her timid nature. Monica, I... I'm glad you returned to the club. We all really did miss having you around. Yuri quickly turns away, rolls her sleeve back down, and slumps back into her desk. Wow, that was incredibly brave of you, Yuri. I'm so glad I'm so glad you feel this way about us. We appreciate you too. Yeah, what Zero said. You can be kinda weird sometimes, but you really are an amazing friend. I love you, Yuri. You're so beautiful. Okay, that's just Sayori. <laughs> I shake my head at Sarah's compliment, but Yuri seems to take it quite well. Uh, th that's so sweet of you guys. I really do love you all. Monica, strangely enough, remains silent. Monica, you okay? Oh, right, it's my turn. I'm sorry, everyone. I've had a lot on my mind recently. That's okay, Monica. We're all here for you. Monica looks down at her desk again, keeping her eyes shut. Well, I really did miss you guys. I missed you all so much. Being stuck in the hospital for so long. I rarely got to go outside and enjoy the weather. I was always being fed medications. I always had a pulsating headache. I... I felt alone. I felt trapped. It was so depressing in there. But now I'm here. I'm so glad to see everyone doing so well. I'm... I'm so grateful. Michael's eyes are now filling with tears. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Monica? Monica! Monica's expression suddenly changes. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Monica, what was that? That happened yesterday, too. Oh, nothing to be worried about. I'll be fine. I'm just glad to be back in the club and not stuck in that lonely hospital room. Monica smiles warmly for the first time since he sat down. Um, I share a couple of concerned glances with the others. Well, it's almost time to go. Let's pick up these desks before we leave. Once we finish re resetting the class, we all say goodbye and then head home with Sayori Natsuki. Natsuki yawns loudly. What a strange day, huh? Anyway, I know you guys like to have your moments out there, so I'll head on inside. See you tomorrow, Zero. I'm also going to inside to change out my uniform. Is that okay? Oh, sure. I'll wait out here. Alright, he's going to buy and wait for Sarah on the sidewalk. Monica's just going cr the mo like <laughs> She's just going crazy. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I'm scared. She's scaring me, guys. As far as I want my favorite part of salvation, it's easy. It's even better. I'm not watching at four in the morning, sleep deprived. <laughs> Headphones, everyone. <laughs>
Oh, I guess this is the wrong classroom. Never mind, they need help and we need the Doki Knights to help them. The Doki Knights, is that is that is that canon? <laughs> MC defuse the situation like zero with basically anyway. Yep, that's the best that's the best conversation diffuser. I don't know what you're talking about. I diffuse every conversation. Best situation diffuser. You sure she didn't go to a mental asylum? We don't know. <laughs> so he walks back and outside in her casual clothes. Seems like something's on her mind. Hey, Zero. Hey, Sori. What's on your mind? You look a little down. Well, today was, wasn't was strange, was it? I thought it was pretty nice to see how well everyone was doing. I'm a bit worried about Monica, though. She seems a little sad. Yeah, I noticed it, too. Maybe she isn't ready to talk about it. She would have mentioned it today, right? Hey, Sayori. Hmm? I'm really glad you've been doing better lately. I just thought you'd like to hear that. Heh. <laughs> Think back to when we were kids. All those dumb games we would play. When Sayori would get hurt, she'd always ask me to kiss her boo-boos. <laughs> Think back to the day she told me about her depression. How broken she was. How hopeless everything seemed. And now, I feel two arms wrap around me. She pulls me in close. I feel the warmth of her body almost melt me away. I love you so much, Zero. I remember feeling so empty even when I had you. I still felt empty. But they're gone now. The rain clouds. And it's all thanks to you. Sarah so kisses me on the lips. I follow suit. I grab her cheeks gently while she grips my back tighter. This feels like heaven. I never want this to end. So he lets out, a, lets out a light moan before breaking the kiss. Sarah and I are breathing a little bit heavily. He, I never got to tell you how good of a kisser you are. I mean, like, get a lot of practice. I mean, oh, that was me. Ah, I fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I get a lot of practice. Sarah giggles. You're too funny, Zero. I'm going to head home now. See you tomorrow. I have goodbye to Sayori and then head home. Well, that was nice. Where's Monica? Monica's watching the stream. She's still watching. She's just muted. She's like, she's, she's like working while watching. So she's still watching. It's just she, she can't talk. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> rain clouds. Play rain clouds zero. <laughs> no, I already played it off screen. No more. No more rain clouds. We will not be having rain clouds. I sit up from bed and grasp my stomach, still aching from the weekend. Jeez, so Rick can sure kick. I grab my phone to see a text message from Sayori. Good morning. Hey, Sayori. Glad to see you're up early. Eh, but I'm always up early, silly. Right, sorry. I let her know I'm on my way down to meet her, meet her and get dressed. That was fast. What the fuck just happened? <sighs> Why you know record? I know you played off screen. I played it before I started doing YouTube videos. So, it was like, I wasn't going to play it again. I already played the game before. I didn't just start playing these mods when I started recording. I was playing these mods before I was recording them. Hey, Zero. Did you sleep okay? You look kind of tired. Sarah so starts analyzing me, making me chuckle. I grab my stomach in the hope she'll catch on to what I'm referring to. Oh, you're hungry. Did you not eat breakfast, Zero? I let out a long sigh. Sure, sorry. Let's go with that. Suddenly something smacks my face. Ow! Hey! Oh, the cookie? Natsuki seemingly out of nowhere and lets out a hearty laugh and fist bumps the air. Ha! <laughs> Perfect timing! I do say so myself. I figured you and Sayori would be hungry, so I brought you both a cookie. Wow, that's pretty nice of you, actually. Psh, I just felt sorry for you, that's all. Classic Natsuki. Well, let's walk to school together, shall we? So I grabs my hand as we make our daily commute. I smile as Sayori swings my arm around, happily humming a tune to herself. Today felt longer than usual. With winter break coming up soon, things will start to get busy around school. I can't remember half the things I learned today. I can count the literature club to help me unwind. 
I open the door and head inside. I'm greeted with the usual sight. Natsuki is reading her manga, Toru is working on another cross stitch, Yuri is painting, a sketch painting in a sketchbook, and Monica is looking over some paperwork. For once, is everything normal? Could this be? Are we actually having a normal day at the literature club? That's how tired I am and decided to take a nap. Vince was probably too busy to notice anyway. I sit down at a desk and put my head down. I'm dreaming about Sayori. I've known it for a long time now, but Sayori really, really does look out for me. She really wants to see me do well. She's the best friend anybody could ask for. She's the love of my life. Wait, what the fuck? Did I skip that? Shit! Oh, wait, I forgot. Developer mode! Wait, there you go. <laughs> and I slowly wake up. My eyes are suddenly met with Sayori's. Ah! What are you doing sleeping in the club, silly? This isn't the napping club. Uh, my bad, Sayori. I just had a long day today. Aw, the zero need a hug. I look around to make sure the others aren't listening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess. Sarah so bends down and wraps her arms around my neck. I follow suit by interlocking my arms with hers. So nice. We let go of each other and Sarah sits down on my desk. I stare at Sayori for a bit. Her eyes. They, they mesmerize me. Can get lost in them so easily. Her soft lips. Her cute nose. Her soft pink hair. Her adorable smile. Everything about her is just perfect. You, you give the best hugs, Zero. Uh, you think so? Of course. They make me feel safe. Sarah grabs my hands and holds them tightly. You know, when we were kids, even just bumping arms with you would make me so nervous. <laughs> Butterflies will flutter around my stomach like crazy. Really? I guess I never noticed. Come to think of it, I didn't realize many things about Sayori until recently. The way she puts her fingers together when she gets nervous. Or the way she fixes her bow every 15 minutes. Or how she rubs her stomach and lets out a light burp after eating food. That's because I never let you notice, silly. Uh, right. I think back to the first days of the literature club. She acted around me. She wished the best for me. The entire time. I was so dense. I insulted her. I ignored her cries for help because I was too damn busy focusing on the others. I mean, that's kind of weird because he was also kind of... It's also while he was like, I was so dense. You're dense now. What are you talking about? You freaking crazy person. <laughs> I mean, I guess he he's not the crazy person. Monica's the crazy person. It's Carl Pink, according to Satchelay. Hey, if people get, Oh, someone's asking Sayori about pink hair. Yeah, it is Coral Pink, according to the, the artist of the game. I ignored her cries for help because she was oh, focusing on the others. But now, she's okay. Hey, you spaced out, you spaced out on me again, you meanie. Eh, sorry. Does it help if I was thinking about you? He a little. So from my desk, give Sayori a small kiss on her nose. He that tickled. Sarah gets back at me by lightly tapping her finger on my nose. Boop. <laughs> Guess you win then. Oh, okay, this one this time wasn't a death boop. That's good. Like last time. It fucking almost killed us. I reach over and gently brush my hand through her hair. Hey, don't mess up my bow. <laughs> don't worry, Sarah. I won't. She smiles warmly. Her eyes seem to glisten in the light of the classroom. She's like an angel. Hey, do you want to do something later this week? Hmm? What do you mean? Well, because of that accident, we never actually got to do something special. All five of us. Uh, you're right. Maybe we should do something. Hello, Sayori. Hello, Zero. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Yes, we are. Zero has a feeling... If Zero is feeling a bit tired, so I decided to cheer him up. Here he gives us a warm smile. You two are adorable. So sometimes I wish I had someone to hold next to me. 
We were still just quietly barely on us for us to hear. Jerry didn't seem to have a problem hearing it, though. What? Well, does Yuri need a hug? Uh, no, no, Sayori, I don't... Before Yuri finishes, Sayori wraps her arms around Yuri, her head lying on her chest. Uh, Sayori, don't hug me so hard. Oh, I'm sorry, Yuri. Sayori lets go of Yuri and looks down at her feet. It's almost as if to make Yuri feel... Well, he felt kind of nice. Just don't be so harsh next time, okay? Yuri gives Sayori a shy smile. Sayori beams. You want another hug? A hug made just for you! <laughs> Sayori opens up her arms and non-verbally invites Yuri to accept. <laughs> y yes <laughs> Sayori gently hugs Yuri. <laughs> Yuri sighs and hugs Sayori back. As timid as she can be, it's pretty obvious that Yuri wanted a hug from the very moment she saw Sayori and I hugging. The girls let go of each other. T thank you, Sayori. I really needed something like that to calm me down. No problem, Yuri. Oh, how could I forget? Oh, well, Sayori went over to where Natsuki was sitting. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sayori practically jumps on Natsuki and wraps her arms around her. More hugs! <laughs> ah, Sayori, get off me! Sayori lets go of Natsuki and starts giggling. Gee, Sayori, what the hell was that for? I couldn't leave you without a hug. I didn't need or ask for one. You can't hide it from me. Everyone loves hugs. Sh shut up, you idiot. Sayori smiles at Natsuki, giving in to her hugs. Nobody can resist them, can they? Hoo <laughs> you and I both know you like hugs, Natsuki. Uh, fine, whatever. We all laugh, continuing to talk about how our day went. Suddenly, we hear footsteps coming towards us. Hey, everyone. Where are all my favorite people up to? Hey, Monica. I made something j just for you. Do you want to see? Oh, let's see it. Sarah rushes over to her school bag and pulls out a cross stitch. Much like the one from yesterday. Oh, I thought she was going to give her a hug. <laughs> well, I guess not. I guess Monica doesn't get a hug. <laughs> Here you go. It's a cross stitch with a music note. Stitched in the back. Stitched in black and surrounded by an emerald green background. I thought the green would match your eyes. They're so pretty. Monica smiles sweetly. Well, this is nice of you, Sayori. It feels good to know you thought of me when you made this. Well, who doesn't love more gifts? I honestly miss having Monica around. That club really does feel whole again. Hmm. I started to think about the idea Sayori had. Doing something fun with everyone sounded good. How about a picnic? Those are fun and don't take too much planning either. Okay, everyone. That's all for today. Hope you all had a good time. It's always great. Miniature Club reunited. No kidding. So it feels weird to have you around, Monica, but not in a bad way. <laughs> Thanks, girls. You both flattered me too much. I'm still thinking about the, about the plans for the picnic. If we're doing this, we have to set everything for that day. Zero? Uh, hello? Eh, what happened? <laughs> I think you were spacing out again. Oh, my bad. I was just thinking of something we could all do tomorrow. Oh, what did you have in mind? Well, to make up for the lost opportunity on the day of the accident. The girls look at their dejected eyes. Oh, this is reminding me of the way they looked at me the day I joined the literature club. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to remind you guys of that night. It's totally fine, Zero. The past is the past. We're all okay now, and that's all that matters. Right, everyone? Yep. Yes, of course. Yeah. So what do you want to do, Zero? Well, I was thinking we should have a picnic tomorrow after school instead of meeting the, instead of meeting here. We can all unwind together and eat some food. It's always fun, right? Well, I think that I'll bring cupcakes. As he jumps in front of Monica excitedly, of course, going to move over to the side. What the hell? I'll make sure they're the best batch I've ever made. That sounds terrific. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is Monica getting interrupted? <laughs> Yay! So he jumps for joy, interrupting Monica for a second time. Oh. <laughs> she just walked off screen. <laughs> Natsuki, can I help you with the desserts? Maybe you can teach me how to bake something. Hmm. Natsuki crosses her arms and ponders for a moment. Hmm. Sharing my baking secrets to Sayori is, is not a good idea. Eh, meanie, I can hear you, you know. Hmm, yes, I know. Is she really this stubborn about sharing her secrets with her? <laughs> I mean, if it's as good of a baker as she is, I wouldn't be so willing to share my secrets with, ours, with others either. Fine. You have the pinky promise never to share my baking secrets with anybody. Got it? Sure, Natsuki. Got it? <laughs> ah, yes, ma'am! 
So he does a quick salute, and Natsuki nods with approval. <laughs> well, I could always make some tea for everyone, but I feel like that's not enough. We all stay silent for a moment before Yuri speaks up again. Uh, what kind of picnic would it be without a blanket to sit on? In Zero, I know a perfect place we can go to. It's very quiet on school days. Asking I go there to read a lot to read together sometimes. They read together? Yuri! <laughs> that was supposed to be kept a secret. Oh, I'm sorry, Natsuki. I didn't mean But it's fine. We should be keeping secrets from our friends anyway. That's lame. Uh, you may be right. The four of us agree on a location and what items to bring. Although I can't help but feel like we're forgetting something. Um, may I make a suggestion? Monica, looking a bit down, comes up from behind us. Did we exclude her from the group accidentally? I didn't even notice. Before I could beat myself up over how terrible a friend I was, I already speaks up. Oh, of course, Monica. Sorry for interrupting you earlier. I just got excited. That's okay, Sayori. I was just thinking. We're going to need food at the picnic, don't you think? I can make us some sandwiches and bring some fruit. Does that sound alright to everyone? We all nod in unison. I guess I can bring some utensils. Can't have a picnic without those. Five of us laugh together and start packing up. As one Monica leaves, another one returns. Agreed. <laughs> Today turned out great. I had lots of fun just talking with the girls and de-stressing. Ready to walk home, Zero? Yeah, let's... Yeah. Natsuki? Oh, let's go all, oh, because Natsuki's... Co I, got, I thought we I thought it was an error. I was like, let's go Natsuki! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go, Natsuki. Coming. Hey, Yuri, you want to come over too? M me? Are you okay with that, Sayori? Of course, silly. We shall prepare for tomorrow. Then why don't we invite Monica? Oh, no. We're gonna not invite Monica, are we? I gotta start from the side to hold her close to me. We didn't invite Monica! What the fuck?! <laughs> <laughs> Guys! <laughs> oh, my God. Aww. As we walk out of the club room... I see Monica out of the corner of my eye, smiling sadly and waving goodbye. Oh man, we should have invited her. Yeah, you really, you can still do it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Nothing's stopping you! Before I think about it any longer, I'm more distracted by the girls and their antics. What do you- what?! You fucking- <laughs> This is why she's like this. Exactly! <laughs> because of this reason! <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 oh! Whoa, what? I didn't speak. <laughs> <laughs> fucking the uh the intermission thing when it was going to the music note it was like glitching oh it was like glitching and then it like stopped you could go back and like watch oh yeah i can go back <laughs> just uh just uh there you go <laughs> look oh bum 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 I see. <laughs> developer mode comes in handy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, developer mode. <laughs> Whoa. Jeez, another nightmare. This one is as clear as crystal. What the hell was that about? <laughs> Blaze says, okay, MC, you have from rock dense to denser than a diamond. <laughs> I actually feel bad for Monica. I'm starting to feel bad for her, too. Fucking MC's a mm -hmm. shitty friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like, they're not helping right now. Oh, my God. If she fucking die, if she fucking commits suicide. Oh, my. Don't say that. I'm just saying, man. She's being no. left out. No. <laughs> you were in she... trouble if, you, if that happened. <laughs> All right. I notice I'm clenching the bed sheets and my backside is drenched with sweat. I reach over to my nightstand and check the time on my phone. Damn, it's pretty late. Put my phone back down and try to sleep. Nope, can't sleep. I'll go visit Sayori. Maybe she can help me sleep. I slowly rise up in my bed and walk out of my room. Ah, oh, man. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But, I mean, I'm her boyfriend, right? This kind of thing is okay. I got a flashback to that night, from months ago. It was a night just like this one. I shake my head. I shouldn't be thinking about this sort of thing anymore. Besides, I'm sure Sarah won't mind if I show up. She likes it when I come over. I think. I think. For knocking the door, I freeze. What about Natsuki? 
No, I'm sure she wouldn't like being woken up in the middle of the night for some such a dumb reason. So there's only one thing left to do. I'm gonna slowly grab the doorknob and turn it. And it's open. That dummy, you think she'd actually lock her door at night? After Sarah's house, tiptoeing the whole way through. It's dark as sin, finding my way through her house solely based on memory. Eventually, I find the stairs and walk up to her room. The lights are off, naturally. Am I really going to walk into a room like this? I mean, I've done it before, but it was a bit of a different situation last time. What if she thinks I'm some sort of intruder and whacks me with a bat? <laughs> you came to the wrong house, fool! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she knows karate and she never told me about it. I place my hand on my stomach and remember how good of a kick she landed on me. I shuddered at the thought of getting kicked again. Bah, she should just walk in. I am her boyfriend, after all. I gently open the door and lower my voice to a whisper. Sayori? She's fast asleep. Psst, Sayori! Sayori shuffles in her bed. You gotta admit, she looks really cute when she's asleep. Man, I shouldn't be thinking about that right now. I really am a creep, aren't I? I think about other things to try to calm my nerves down a bit. I don't want to wake her up just yet. I slowly close in on her on my tiptoes, but the closer I get, the crazier my nerves get. My heart is beating so loud and surprised it hasn't woken her up yet. I place my hand on Sayori and gently shake her. Sayori, wake up, sleepyhead. Sayori turns over and rubs her eyes sleepily. Zero, what time is it? <laughs> About that. Sarah grabs her phone from under her pillow and checks the time. Zero, it's the middle of the night. <laughs> Why are you waking me up this late? Why are you even in my room? <laughs> Whoa, she does not look happy. <laughs> she looks pissed off. <laughs> yeah, she's like, what the fuck? Even the music isn't like a happy tone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Why is it so hard to explain this? She kept, keeps throwing me daggers. I feel hopeless. I had a nightmare. I wanted to come see you. Expression doesn't change. <laughs> It's like she's, she's like, entirely... really? Yeah, she's like, I do not care. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she's an entirely different person when she's sleepy. Note to self. <laughs> Never wake up Sayori in the middle of the night in her own home. <laughs> you do know you could have just called me, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> it's okay, Zero. You want to stay and sleep in my room? Thank God. Is that alright with you? Of course, I'm here for you. You can watch some anime if you can't sleep. So he invites me into her bed and I happily hop in with her. Aww. 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 It's adorable. Congrats, you angered the bun. Exactly! How is it that now it's like, <laughs> it's like I'm the child? <laughs> so he's finally done with her shit, Zero. Oh no. <laughs> I call up That's next to her. That's a good anime they're watching. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> White screen. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Clearly, it's just a giant beam was shot at the camera, and they're about to, <laughs> about to cut back to the anime. <laughs> Cuddle up next to her and cover myself with her blanket. It smells just like her. I feel a little weird being enticed while Sayori smells, but it feels nice. <laughs> so, what anime do you want to watch? You can use my laptop to watch something. Okay, they're not watching anything yet, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, well, I know a few that Sayori might enjoy watching, but I'm more of an action guy myself. I wonder, what anime should we watch? Oh, Dias for Dragon, Magica, Redo Life, Caped Baldy, Yellow Haired Ninja. What a beautiful doing. <laughs> I mean, I see. <laughs> Caped Baldy's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Bug said, beam, light beam, colors weave into a flick. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I've even shown, I don't think any of these anime even reference any of the anime that I've even shown you. Uh, I don't think any of these are references to anything I've shown you. No. I'm gonna go with yellow haired ninja. We're watching Naruto. <laughs> Hmm. This one has been going for a long time now. It just ended recently, actually. Yeah, it did. What about this one? It's about these ninjas that go around and do... Ninja things? <laughs> I mean, what makes this one so special? 
He battled the main character lost his parents at a young age and was treated horribly by everyone around him because he has a beast sealed inside of him. But he never gave up. He kept on pushing himself to become a ninja and succeeded. He never gave up, a, gave up on his dream to become the leader of his village. Zero's eyes light up. That's actually the real description. <laughs> well, I'm interested <laughs> now. You remind me of myself and how I used to be. My brain always told me to give up and quit. But I never quit. I always tried so hard for you. Sayori lays her head on my lap and starts the, and starts the anime on her own. I'll never give up, Sayori. Keep on fighting. Hey, Monica, you want to watch Naruto? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's 300 episodes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Later. <laughs> <laughs> we watch a few more episodes for Sayori and I let out a long yawn. <laughs> I guess we're both pretty tired, huh? Yeah. Or else we have school tomorrow. I position myself so I'm on the right side of the bed. Sorry, on the left. I lay back and place my head on the pillow. Hey, Zero? Hmm? I'm really glad you're with me right now. She wraps her arms around me and hugs me tightly. Sorry? Are you happy? Eh, yeah, of course I'm happy. I know I'm safe when I'm with you. Sarah's grip around me tightens. You're always asking me that, aren't you? Well, I guess I worry about you. What about you? Hmm? What about me? Are you happy? I'm a little surprised at this question. Of course, you make me happy, Sayori. Good, your happiness matters to me. But of course, you'd be happy sneaking into my room and waking me up at night, meanie. <laughs> You're giving me a friendly shove, snapping me out of my tiredness. Yeah, sorry about that. You know, Sayori, the night kind of reminded me of my childhood with you. Remember when we used to have sleepovers and make pillow forts? Yeah, how could I forget that? Sayori sits up from her bed and looks at her pillows and blankets. Do you want to make one? Before I could even answer, she pulls the sheets out for, uh, yeah, she pulls the sheets off of me and grabs the pillows from under my head. Uh, Sayori, what are you? He, come on, join me. Jeez, and Sayori would be in such a good mood and so late at night. Join in and start picking up the pillows she can't fit in her arms. She holds some of the ground and begin putting them together to form a structure. I can't help but feel nostalgic, sitting here with Sayori. I can think back to the days when we were innocent. No worries. No desperation. No depression. Just three kids having fun with each other. I watch as she reaches for a familiar stuffed cow. The day I gave it to her seemed just like yesterday. I seemed to love it so much back then. I'm glad she's still attached to it. It warms my heart. Some time passes and before we know it, we've constructed a masterpiece of fort with her cow guarding the entrance. <laughs> well, shall we go inside, Princess Sayori? He, why, thank you, Prince Zero. Sayori quickly jumps inside and I follow. Look at this, it's amazing, the best we've ever made. <laughs> Guess it's pretty good, isn't it? Man, it has been so nice. I don't even know what time it is. Oh shoot, the time! I look out the window to see the sky turning from, right, from night to dawn. Sorry, we need to get some sleep. Oh, no, you're right. You can't be tired for the picnic tomorrow. I quickly rush out of the fort and jump in bed. I give Sarah a kiss on the cheek and cuddle close to her. Zero slowly regrets life after watching all of Naruto. I actually have watched all of Naruto. <laughs> all, of, <laughs> all of old Naruto and Chaputin. I haven't really watched Boruto yet, but yeah. I've watched all of Naruto. <laughs> I just skipped a majority of the fillers. <laughs> Oh, that's cheating. What do you mean cheating? There's no point watching them. You didn't you didn't watch the entirety of Naruto if you skipped the filler. I mean technically I watched all of it because I watched the ones that actually matter. Filler doesn't matter! You didn't watch all of it, is what I'm saying. Filler doesn't matter. You don't need to watch it. <laughs> Great. I'm really regretting not getting enough sleep last night. I reluctantly open my eyes and realize I'm imprisoned by a sleepy Sayori. Dear God, this is worse than a cat falling asleep in your lap. She looks too peaceful and I refuse to move. However, at this rate, I'll end up falling asleep again. Suddenly, I hear a knock on Sayori's bedroom door. Sayori doesn't move one bit. Sayori, we're going to be late. I'm going to leave without you. Natsuki opens the door. Ah, what are you two doing? <laughs> ah, Natsuki, it's not what it looks like. Asuki looks at the mess of sheets and pillows from last night. 
Oh, don't play dumb with me. You tried to take advantage of Sayori last night, didn't you? Tell me Sayori slipped up in bed. Ah, why are we screaming? <laughs> what? Don't tell me you actually let Zero sleep with you last night. Well, he actually snuck into my room. What? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the right thing to say. <laughs> it wasn't. Great. As if she didn't see me enough as a pervert already. <laughs> Oh, don't get the right idea, silly. We just made pillow forts and watched anime. That's the expression changes. You guys didn't invite me? I was just about to say that. We didn't let Natsuki watch anime with us. <laughs> I didn't want to wake you up. Plus, I didn't know we were going to watch anime. Whatever. Just hurry up and get dressed so you can help me with the picnic items. So he laughs out loud and follows Natsuki down the stairs. We leave school and head straight towards the forest Yuri told us about. Both of us are carrying our respective items. Yuri's carrying her slightly burnt brownies. Now she has her famous cupcakes. Yuri's carrying a picture of tea in one hand and a soft purple quilt in the other. And I'm carrying utensils. Not that not that we really need them for the type of food we're eating. Better safe than sorry, I guess. Monica said she would be waiting for us here with the sandwiches and fruit. Hey everyone, I brought the food. Did anyone else bring what they were supposed to bring? We all nod and begin to prepare the area. Yuri gently sets the quilt in the grass and sets the pitcher on a tray so it doesn't tip over. Natsuki places her cupcakes neatly on the tray, encircling them around Yuri's pitcher. Sayori stacks her brownies on a plate she brought from home in a pyramid-shaped pattern. Sayori looks around her surroundings before plopping, on the, plopping one into her mouth. Sayori! Oof, I couldn't resist! Sayori happily swallows the brownie whole and lets out a light burp. <laughs> uh, excuse me! Natsuki and I shake our heads in unison. All right, I'll place the sandwiches and fruit in the middle. Monica pulls out a pretty large platter and places it in the middle of the quilt. She opens it to reveal tons of ham and cheese sandwiches cut into small triangles, surrounding them as an assortment of delicious-looking fruit. Whoa! Monica, this looks delicious. Did you make all these by yourself? Yep, handcrafted sandwiches were yours truly. <laughs> Maybe I should take up sandwich making after school. <laughs> Monica reaches into her school bag and pulls out a salad. Eh? Who's the salad for? Oh, it's for me. I'm a vegetarian, remember? Ah, that makes sense. Well, let's eat, everybody. The word Sayori started a sentence four times. <laughs> it definitely did, Bug. It definitely did. <laughs> that was a manly burp for Sayori. Hey, man, she ate a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori takes a few strawberries and starts eating them one by one. Yuri serves herself a glass of tea and sits back against a nearby tree. Nazi takes a few sandwiches and near nearly eats them in one bite. Monica crosses her legs and sits herself on the quilt, right before she takes a few of Sayori and Nazi's goodies. I help myself to whatever is available. The amount of food here is almost overwhelming. Not that I'm complaining, of course. Hee 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 Hmm? What are you giggling about, Natsuki? I remembered something funny. The way you're sitting reminds me of that time you spilled hot tea all over yourself. <laughs> hey, why'd you have to bring that up now? Aw. Oh, it's a flashback! <laughs> Careful, Natsuki. It's hot. I know, Yuri. What kind of girl do you think I am? An idiot? Uh, no, I... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. No need to feel so bad all the time. Oh, sorry. Yuri sits under the window next to Natsuki. Hey, Yuri? Hmm? You're a real pal, you know that? Natsuki slaps Yuri on the back a little too hard, causing Yuri's hot tea cup to spill all over her. Ah! Oh, she actually has tea all over her. Hot, hot, <laughs> hot! Ha <laughs> Uh, Yuri, let me get you a towel! Sayori, help! It burns! <laughs> Yuri flares her arms, <laughs> hopelessly while Sayori tries to clean her uniform. Take off your blazer! N no! Ah! Uh. Why is she so <laughs> insistent on keeping her blazer on? Here, Yuri, a cold towel, just for you! <laughs> Take off your blazer! <laughs> Quickly, take off your shirt. Wait, what? <laughs> take it off, Yuri. <laughs> For Monica. <laughs> she just rips Yuri's blazer off. For Monica. <laughs> well, I guess Yuri's dying, says Bug. Sayori demanding Yuri strips in front of everyone. Yeah. <laughs> he, I remember when that happened. It's pretty funny when you think about it. 
It's not that funny. Come on, don't sweat it. We all have that embarrassing moments. Ooh, like when I conducted a secret mission with Zero to find your secret recipes hidden in your bag. What? <laughs> Dr. Stopper, sorry, starts explaining the entire story as if we were, weren't about to get grilled by Natsuki. <laughs> Sayori, are you sure this is a good idea? Trust me, Zero. I know what I'm doing. Sayori pulls out three small slips of paper, each containing a recipe of some sort. Natsuki isn't going to be happy about this. Don't be silly. I'll just slip them back into her bag without her noticing. Let's bake something together, Zero. Oh, all right. Do you remember what happened the last time you tried cooking, though? Hey, Meanie, this time's different. Trust me. As soon as Sayori says this, the room starts filling with smoke. <laughs> ah, wh what? <laughs> Oh no, I forgot to take out the plastic bowls from the oven! <laughs> uh, I'll call the fire department. <laughs> Why do you have plastic bowls in the oven? <laughs> yeah, what? Natsuki stays silent for a while. <laughs> a pretty funny story, eh, Natsuki? You stole my recipes? And you didn't even use them? <laughs> you idiot! He... Whoops. Whatever. Whatever. I guess you deserve props for managing to steal them from me in the first place. Secret Agent Sayori, <laughs> at your service. Sayori so stands up straight with confidence as Natsuki's half-hearted compliment. <laughs> well, if we're sharing embarrassing memories, I do have one about Natsuki I could share. Natsuki's eyes widen. She turns towards Yuri and clenches <laughs> her fist. Don't you dare! Foo foo foo. Don't like what happens to you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yuri, I swear! Well, it started at the club. Sayori and Zero were out on a date, so Natsuki and I had the room to ourselves. Ooh. <laughs> hey, Natsuki. Natsuki looks up from a manga for a short second, scoffs at me, and looks back down. Uh, still mad at me? I just wish you'd take the time to appreciate manga for what it is instead of bashing it all the time. Ah, uh, so this is what this is about. Tell you what. I pull out a book that I think Natsuki would enjoy. It's only too scary, nothing too creepy. Cute story about these three princesses who become legendary warriors. I'll give your manga a chance, but on one condition. Her eyes light up. Okay, what do I have to do? You have to read this entire book and give me a review of it at the end. What? No way! Who do you think you are, my English teacher? Alright <laughs> then, let's make this interesting. I'll admit manga's literature if I end up enjoying it, and if you read the entirety of that book. Well, how am I supposed to know which manga you'd like? Well, that's part of the challenge. Hoo hoo hoo. Okay, I'll do it. Maybe it's because you'll read some of my manga. Can you keep this a secret? I don't want to seem like I'm sort of a nerd like you. Hmm, I won't make any promises. Uh, just give me the book already. Jeez. Ugh. Yuri smiles warmly. Well, alright, the secret's out. I read a real book. No big deal. Sometimes my Yuri voice sounds like Weenie the Pooh. <laughs> Uh, Tigger. <laughs> think, think, think. <laughs> it's just sometimes it's Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I realized that. <laughs> oh dear, Piglet. <laughs> like I realized I had to read it. That's so much Winnie the Pooh, and I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> Bug says, can we get more of Goofy do Goofy Dokies but be a whole mod? I mean, I think we can, I would rather have like an anime of just the Goofy Dokies, to be honest. Yeah. That'd be nice. Besides, who ends up winning the bet? Alright, alright, I guess you and I are even. Natsuki and Yuri start laughing together. Those two have really become good friends, haven't they? Against all odds, these girls found a way to look past each other's differences and become close with each other. I have a story to share as well. Eh? Is it about me? Well, you'll find out if you sit down and listen. He okay. <coughs> Man, I still feel nervous every time I do this. That image of Sayori's head in the noose is still fresh in my mind. I shouldn't be afraid anymore. It's okay. I gently open the Owie! What the Sayori? What the hell are you doing right behind the door? <laughs> I was trying to eat my cereal! <laughs> On the floor? <laughs> Don't judge me! <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> why is she? Why is 
she eating her cereal on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't you know that's really normal? I do that all the time. Instead of sitting on a chair? <laughs> I sit on the floor behind my door and eat cereal on the side. <laughs> all the time. Yeah, right, I'm right behind her door. <laughs> What is she doing? Why she is she was hiding? It was like she, she was like, my cereal. <laughs> I don't want anyone to steal it. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry, Sayori. I didn't know. I should have knocked. I heard a bunch of shuffling around from the other side of the door. <laughs> okay, you can come in. I walk into Sayori's room to find her in a usual pink outfit. Hey, Sayori. How's your hand? Still hurts? A little. But I'm a tough, strong woman. He gently pats Sayori's head. Sure you are, Sayori. I sit down on Sayori's bed and she follows. So how are you doing today, Zero? I'm doing alright. Just tired from all these school assignments we've been getting. Oh, alright. Do you want to work on some of them together? Sure. Let me grab my bag. I left in your kitchen. Walk back into Sayori's room and place my bag on the floor. Sayori's on her phone looking at something. And she hasn't noticed me walking in yet. That dummy. I decided to sneak up on her and give her a little scare. To the closer, I can see that she's looking at pictures of... Me? <laughs> I can't help but blush a little bit. It's kind of flattering looking at pictures of me even when I'm gone for a few seconds. I'll keep this a secret for now. Boo! Ah, don't scare me like that, you meanie! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist. Now come on, let's study. <laughs> she's like, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, stares at me with shocked eyes. You know, you know, you knew that I was looking at pictures of you the whole time. <laughs> I couldn't keep it. A, I could, couldn't keep it a secret for long. I'm not kidding though. It is pretty flattering. He <laughs> now I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> Instead of being embarrassed, she gets a smile on her face and laughs it off. At the corner of my eye, I see Monica writing something down. A poem. She looks deep in thought, so I decided to leave her be. A bug said, I do stare at naked zero photos. <laughs> <laughs> How did you even get these photos? I don't even take any. <laughs> now I'm afraid. <laughs> My blinds are always closed. How did you? <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> Whoa, I'm stuffed. How about you guys? So it's all small burp and rubs her stomach. Urp. Excuse me, he... <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty full, too. A long nap sounds really nice right now. Monica stays silent, keeping her eyes locked on her paper. The cat just sneaking a few glances at me and, and the others as if she wanted to tell us something, but can't. I sorry picks up the last of the picnic items and decided that I should probably tell her I'm going to be staying behind. I sorry. Do you want to think you and Nasi can walk home together today? I won't be long. You can talk to Monica about something. That's okay, Zero. Just don't keep me waiting. Whoa. Neat. <laughs> Turn around and walk over to <laughs> Melancholy Bucolic Monica. Hey, Monica. How was the picnic? Oh, it was great, Zero. This was a really great idea. I only enjoyed hearing about all the good times you all had while I was gone. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel left out or anything. Monica stays silent for a bit as she picks up the leftovers from the picnic. It's all right, Zero. No need to worry about me. You know, I'm still really proud of everyone. It really just blows my mind how close everyone is to each other now. Something isn't right here. I have my suspicions, but now it's very noticeable. Monica? Are you sad about anything? <laughs> me? Why would I be? Why would I be? I have no reason to be sad. I have all my wonderful friends here with me. Speaking of which, you should probably head home now. I'm sure Sarah is waiting for you. But I... Before I could finish, Monica walks off with her things, humming a familiar tune to herself. I didn't go as well as I hoped. Hope she's all right. She has depression, doesn't she? No, no. Zero. Why do you have to say the shit? <laughs> I just want to say it, Monica. I think she has depression. You're in trouble. <laughs> what? How am I in trouble? If all, of, if all of this, if all of this stuff that you're saying is actually happening, you're in trouble. I didn't even play this mod before. <laughs> I know, but you're still in trouble. Oh. <laughs> Bug says Monica's humming Life Light. Actually, a different Monica was humming Life Light earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Repeatedly. <that's true>. Shut up. 
You you really like that song. I do. <laughs> Whew! What a day for a school and then a and then a filling picnic. And I could really use a nap. I walk up to my room and what? Sorry, you sure came out of nowhere. He, sorry, Zero. I just wanted to come with you for the rest of the day. Come be with you for the rest of the day, if that's okay with you. And I wanted to have another sleepover. Well, sure, but we're going to get enough. Sleep. We're going to have sleep this time, right? He, of course. All right. So what's the, what about Natsuki? You left her all alone at her house again? She went with Yuri after the picnic, so she's probably going to stay over there. So now we can be together without any interruptions. I grab Zero's hand and guide her towards my bed. Sit close to each other. Zuri lays her head on my shoulder and I let out a long sigh. Hey, Zero. I know you've said this before, but I want to know more. How long have you had feelings for me? Well, that's why another random question. Uh, well. I think it was when I was, it was second year during middle school. It's so far about four years now. Why didn't you tell me then? I had feelings for you too. Well, I've said it before, that was afraid of breaking our friendship. If I didn't want to really understand it then, hell, if I didn't understand it for a long time. I had hoped these feelings would go away after a few days, but they never did. But just seeing your face was enough to sweep me off my feet. You look the same as you always have, but something about you lit a fire in my heart. Of course, I concluded that would be creepy or weird for me to tell you. I was convinced you'd stop talking to me if I ever told you how I truly felt. Unfortunately, we drifted apart. I still regret ever doing that to you. I found my feelings from I find I hid my feelings from you to the point where I even forgot they were there. These feelings stayed. No matter how hard I tried to push them away. Zara giggles lightly. You know, I kept my feelings hidden away hidden away too. Every night I sneak glance through the window, just wishing you could come and check on me. My rain clouds always told me that I was just a burden to you. I thought that there's no way you'd feel the same way. It wasn't until two months ago on that day you told me you would do whatever it took to help me. The rain clouds were still there, but when I saw the look in your eyes and felt your warm hugs, I knew that maybe the sun would shine again one day. At the same time, I kept telling myself that you were just lying to make me feel better. Then... She stopped before she goes too far. Hey, let's not talk about all that. It's all in the past. Do you believe that my feelings are true? Well, I do believe you, but what if after all this time, you've been putting on a facade just to help me get better? You're very handsome, Zero. You shouldn't have trouble finding someone better looking than me. Well, I guess it's a kind of impossible to show what I'm really thinking. All I can do is say you're beautiful in multiple different ways. Well... Zero starts blushing. There's one thing I haven't tried. Hmm? What's that? He, what do you think? Zero's face gets closer. I can feel her light, warm breaths against my skin. No way. S Sayori, are you... Zero's lips practically fall onto mine. Her hands are on my chest. My hands are still on my... Th her, my hands are still on my thighs, unsure of where to go next. I move my hand over to her arms and push her down onto the bed. I slowly break the kiss and look into her eyes. I'm staring at the definition <laughs> of beauty right now. Is this really happening to a guy like me? This is like a dream come true. Sayori? Are you sure about this? Zuri out slowly, keeping her eyes locked on mine. I gulp. I'm not really sure what to do. I've never done this before. But I want to help her feel good. This is what a man should do, right? Zero? Hmm? I love you. I love you too. I rest instinctively. I slowly move my left hand to unbutton her shorts, and I gently move my other hand under her skirt. Under her shirt. Okay, good. We skipped that. I was not about to read <laughs> porn. <laughs> I was like, wait, is it gonna like? Yeah, I'm like, are we about to read porn? <laughs>